do. Nice. What's up, everyone? Have a big Tuesday. It's Tuesday, right? Yeah. Monday was a holiday. Those things always throw me off. Wish it was a four-day work week every week. What's up, Taxmon? Aerojet. Yeah, early stream. I uh, finally got home a little bit earlier than usual, and I was like, man, there's still a ton of stuff to do in this game. These kinds of games deserve long fittings, you know? Because uh, I think I want to do more quests. I probably could end it soon, but there's still a lot to go through. Uh, I think last night I stopped around uh, the Brotherhood quest. And I wanted to blow them up, but it was getting way too past my bedtime. Now that I got a few hours, let's try this again. Hey, what's up, Axel? I have a big Tuesday once again. I was hoping, uh, let me see. Next week, next, next week, oh. Next, next week is when Judge Eyes and Diablo comes out. I took uh, Thursday and Friday off then. Those might be some big streams. All right, is it just this one guy? Is it just this one gal? I think that's good money, right? Power armor you should sell for a lot. Oh, damn. Doesn't sell for shite. Repcon headquarters. Isn't that where they do the... Uh, oh, Black Mountain. That's where I gotta go. Isn't that will Repcon where they shoot the rockets? I didn't want to do those uh, ghouls in space quests, but maybe I should. Usually it takes too long. But that's what this game is all about, right? Taking hell long. I was thinking I might play Oblivion next, but man, that game is going to be even slower than this one. But I haven't played that game in like... It feels like every game on the stream is super old. I haven't played Oblivion in like 10, 15 years? Have it been out that long? And without mods, it might be a blow up. Because I'm planning to play it on the uh, Series X.
supposed to look good though. Hey there. Need anything? Sure. Do you sell katana upgrades? <gasps> yes, you do. That's pretty much all I want. I wonder if it'll be better to hold on to that power armor and upgrade it with the other ones that I'm going to pick up. Laser rifle. Incinerator. Alright, that's good. Some Karsh. Greetings from the wasteland. It's the wasteland, right? It's always the wasteland. Oh, they're inside? Oh, boy. I was hoping it would be. <clears throat> What's up, Blitz Dobo? Cynical Razor? Damn, those bodies just showed up out of nothing. Ooh, nice. Now, Fallout 3 gave you so many more skill points. I want to have like a hundred everything by now. Pattern. Uh -oh. Please present credentials for first floor access. I'm gonna have to fight these guys. Please do not make your way to the second floor. Nice. Speech is so busted. looking for those brotherhood guys but I might as well loot the place too right damn damn double very hard Cherry trees. This will follow. You have been warned. Please vacate the premises or you will be considered an intruder. Can't I speech this guy? Damn. I wish I could reduce my uh, intelligence and just uh, yell ice cream. That sounds sick. I would look at the dobo. 
I've never done a low intelligence playthrough, even though I heard there's like, you know, some special things like that. The skill points. You missed out on so many skill points. Just jump through. I think in Fallout 3 it gives you like 20 skill points for around like 8 or 9 uh, points and that's that. Oh. I should look where that body is. What the heck? Oh no, that body says second floor, okay. Oh, it's like a little one. Okay, these were the dead dudes. Oh, I didn't see this guy, right? Yeah. Oh. I'm lucky when they carry better armor. Unauthorized facial pattern detected. Valid security badge detected. Temporary access granted. Please complete employee registration with security. Nice. I'm glad I looked around for that badge. Legendary plasma rifle is in here, huh? I don't think I'm going to be able to get a hundred lockpick or science, but it's alright. I'm not using uh, laser weapons. Oh, very easy. That's the first time I looked at a computer. Vent, okay, it's not F E. It's not in. Okay, it starts with an F. Can't be that. Can't be that. Oh boy. It's supposed to be very easy. <clears throat> oh man, if you go into and out of terminals quickly. You have to wait for the cooldown. Oh wait, I forgot you could look for the things that uh, take away options, right? I forgot. So two letters are the same. S. Just S. And S and O. H O S T, okay. Now, I picked three times, so I gotta look for the brackets. Man, I hated hacking. I'm hoping one of them gives me the allowance. Damn, all dud removed? Where the allowance? There you go. Oh! Damn, what's up, Dotson? Thank you for a three month refund. I mutually appreciate that, dude. Dang, there are a lot of them. Okay, it has to be Oast. So. No? Oh, damn. I thought Oast. Loss? Oh, man. Has to have OS in the middle, right? Did I not do cost? I swear I did. I didn't. <laughs> nice eye. 
I thought I picked a few from the beginning, so I was like, alright, let me start from the other side. <clears throat> Dang, I thought it'd be like reprogram bots, but add facial data to the database is good. That means they won't shoot me now, right? Is for executives only. Please identify. Oh, luck seven. There you go. Thank you, ma'am. Have a nice day. Nice. Intelligence one, luck seven. Ice cream, bitch. something Man, a lot of bottle caps nice let's hope we do that hello mrs. Millis I hope you have an excellent day at work today. Huh. Oh, damn, I didn't even notice these guys right here. Alright, now it's worth a little bit. <clears throat> Was there like some kind of secret? Oh yeah, he said hack the door and I would have gotten unique plasma gun. Oh, it's safe. Probably one of those computers giving me the passcode. But I gotta hack it first. Oh, that locked door. Oh, it's like a sneaky way up. Definitely want to open up all these locks. Free experience. Free bubble gun. Damn, moron. 
Yeah, maybe there's a key, yeah. That's what I'm looking around for. If I could stumble upon it, then I'll get it. If not, skip it. Not that big a deal. Sometimes the keys are hella hard to see, so I gotta take an extra hard look around there. Could use a magazine. I always save those magazines for like important occasions, but important occasions never come up. Probably just take a mint tattoo. too. Sorry, let's try an Ealing word. So maybe it's uh, ING. It's not ING. Could be I N. <laughs> I'm one of those. It's not ING, huh? Only two out of the seven. Nice. I am. Damn, good day, Miss Masters. Packet Loss Remix, jobs going fine. Same old, same old. Yeah, easy supply of magazines if you do the unmarked quest for Followers of the Apocalypse. Yeah, i never done that one, but I've heard of it. I usually leave them alone. Because, uh, <laughs> they're not too important to the story. Unless I can go specific routes. Uh, no added. That just tells me about the, uh, about that place, huh? Yeah, it said something about the password, right? Maybe unlock the terminal now. That's on the first floor? Am I on the second floor? Yeah. Did I look at this computer already? That's the first one that I opened. Unauthorized facial pattern detected. Didn't I give him my facial pattern already? Come back if I remember. I will try to get a hundred lockpick. I like lockpick. I like a lockpick way more than science. Oh, the stream's still on. 
Okay, it is. The game just crashed. <laughs> Damn, that's the first time. I thought we were having a pretty good run. Alright, not bad. That's what like, uh, these Fallout games do, right? It spooked me for a second. Alright, let's get it to reload. Good thing about those autosaves, right? Yeah, right, up, right when I stepped outside. 12 hours in, first crash, that's not that bad. Oh, damn, isn't this Best Vegas Part 3? You're right, man. What am I doing? I was in such a rush to start the stream up, I forgot to change the title of the game. Uh, hopefully the game doesn't crash. You're right, hey bats. Part 3, what am I doing? Part 2, continue. Maybe that's why the game crashed. Got pissed. Okay. One simple change. No <laughs> corny title for the stream. New Vegas, only Vegas. Okay. Don't look at the map. That's why I went wrong last time. Man, I really like that damage mod, but it doesn't show up all the time. So gross. That was deep radiation territory. Oh, oh, are they in there? They might be in there, huh? Alright. What's up, Z-Long? Very disturbing enemies. Oh shit, Mo. This guy's named. Damn, these guys are leveling up. Found out what you're supposed to do without skill checks so is find the key card on the third floor. Oh, didn't I find the key card? A card. Probably not D card. I thought there were multiple bodies here. show the miscellaneous keys, right? We have a key ring. Key ring. Open. Jenny Millet's key card? Is that the key card that I needed? Yeah, it was hers? Okay, cool. Oh, uh-oh. Controller started rumbling. Okay, it stopped. Game started freezing? Okay, no, it stopped.
So now that I have these key cards, there's probably a uh, computer I could look at that I just didn't get to the first time around. Ooh, that'll put me right over. Jenny Nuts was the first floor key card. So if I want this, I gotta go to the third floor and look for that card. I see. Reading comprehension X below. I need to read a few more magazines. Damn, this is blowing me up. What up, Coco Dogo? Dang, dude, this analog. It's so shitty for a slight control. I just want to barely, like, tap it. But it ends up moving so much. What's up, Captain Joe? Nice. I mean, you can be a little reckless on those average safes. Oh, Nuka Cola Victories? Probably be on someone's desk, All right? Follow the left hand wall. Floor access is for executives only. Ice cream. Thank you, man. Well, you can just get that one over and over. I think this is a terminal I already accessed before. Oh, unlock safe. Okay. Was the safe on the first floor? Which safe was that at the locking? Oh, 
Oh, it's this safe. I really unlock. I think I just saw the key card work. I keep thinking of these tiles of key cards. The floor. What's safe? Fishing battery. Put that over there. Clipboard. Behind the cabinet. Yeah, just this trash texture. This thing? This tile? This tile's been faking me out too. There's a lot of those. Toilers. Maybe it could be inside of one of the one of the actual Dude. toilets, right? Sometimes they do that kind of thing. What's up, uh, Helper TW? Thank you for the follow. Third floor access is for executives. Ice cream, Thank you, dude. Have a nice day. Ice cream. Has always been ice cream. Maybe it could be on top of those wooden flushers, too. Nope. That's the floor back down. Two dead dudes. There's only two offices in this floor. Oh, maybe it's in the chair? Nope. I think I checked that cabinet a few times. Check that cigarette. I'll we'll just come back with the 100 lockpick. Yeah, could have accidentally kicked it. Doesn't like everything just moves too randomly when you pick stuff up off the of shelves. It's in a suitcase, huh? Guess that makes it a little easier. Let's check it out. I don't recall seeing any suitcases, but sometimes they're like on top of things. Hey, suitcase. Suitcase. It's not even a movable item. Like that skeleton was movable. Here's the suitcase. That is a that's a pretty good spot. Thanks, hey bats. Oh whoa. Third floor access is for executives only. Please identify. Ice Thank cream. you, ma'am. Have a nice day. Texture just started disappearing. Yep, third floor security card. Does that let me open the thing on the first floor?
Your father radar. I wonder if there's special stuff in here. go Q35 modder modder matter modulator modder modulator beautiful thanks for the help everyone hey that's an oblivious unauthorized facial pattern detected uh it probably takes like a ton of energy weapon to use well though right let's see Only 25, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Alright, let me sell some stuff before I go back to the Brotherhood. I think I'm gonna blow them up after this. I should buy anti-material rifle. Those are always good. But again, I'm not using guns. But you always want to use that gun. And it weighs 20? Good deal. Yeah, fuck it. Why do I want to reduce the weapon noise? Oh my god, 10k. Get rid of Ben's suit. Yeah, get rid of the chopper. Thumper too. Yeah. Eventually, I'll get a hundred guns. I think you need a hundred to use uh, this wall. Yeah, jeez. I should just mod in like unlimited equip burden. Giving myself ideas. to steal that guy's super sledge and armor before I blow this place up. Maybe I should do that before I return these quests. It's oh, the wrong way, yep.
Hello. Is this the first super sledge I get? Dang, a hundred. Found the missing patrols, or was something else on your mind? You know the hall tapes. They were all dead then. I suppose I'm not surprised. We have few friends in the world above, and many enemies. But we must turn our minds to other matters. When I sent out those patrols, I also sent three knights out on scouting missions. When the patrols failed to return, we assumed the worst, and sent a single communication to the scouts to hold position and maintain radio silence. I want you to contact those scouts and gather their reports. Like the patrols, they have devices on them that will enable you to track them. When you find them, tell them you're my representative, and ask them if the bears are still hunting. That should get them to talk to you. Return when you've gathered all of their reports. Dang, I gotta go find another three people. I think I'll do back to Mirrors instead of uh, Hardens. Harden seems kind of like a dick. One of them is not too far from here. So he said he just told these guys to chill out. I wonder how long they've been chilling for. But didn't it say like they were in lockdown for like a year? More than years? Hey, what do you want? And don't try anything funny. He asked if the bears are still hunting. You speak truly, for it is unlikely that an outsider would know both the elder's name and that passphrase. Very well. I've been observing the penal facility there in the distance for some time now, after having followed some rather disturbing rumors. The facility was run by the NCR for a time, but the prisoners overcame their guards and now use the prison as a base from which to conduct raids. What puzzles me is why these men have been allowed to run wild for so long unchecked. Why has the NCR not retaken this place? Give this to the Elder. My observations are all within. Perhaps he will have a better idea of what this situation portends. That report must reach the Elder's hands. I have nothing further to give you. Except your life. Oh, abandoned BOS bunker? Isn't that like a... a safe house they give me?
Gotta eat, keep my eyes uh, semi peeled to watch out for Cazadores. They're always in these mountainous areas. Just a moment. Since you haven't pissed yourself, I'll assume that you don't know who we are. Next time I'll bring my sickle and wear my black cloak. See, the NCR sends us uh -oh. when they want terrible things done to terrible people. So what? Screw you and screw the NCR. You've got three days to improve your reputation with the NCR or we come for you. Without all this pleasant conversation. Have a nice day now. You hear? No, we finish this now. Goodbye. Three days. Not even seven days? Oh, dang. You got fucking rangers, huh? Damn, they're running like crazy. Oh, so little Danny. Okay, ask more Danny. Damn, why am I so heavy? Oh, it's this stuff, I forgot. Whoa, heal out of nothing? Tell Danny. All right, eat all my food. Broke both my arms? Ooh, authority classes.
Okay, won't there one more body? There's this body. There should be four people. And the left arm on this guy. One here. Oh, I think I lost one. Alright, just take the oh there it is. Is that it? Should be one more ranger. Man, these textures are so good, I can't tell. Oh, here. Maybe not another ranger. Should have bought, shouldn't have bought the uh, anti-material rifle. Yeah, naughty night one, huh? <laughs> it is crucial. Plus luck and speech. Prince broken. Maybe it's because I'm over encumbered and I'm using whiskey to go over the equipment burden. Don't take another step if you value your life. For what purpose do you approach me? Elder McNamara. Strange that the Elder should send an outsider, but I suppose he has his reasons. My observations have mostly focused on the small town to the south of here. It was cruelly attacked, its inhabitants slain nearly to the last. That such an act could occur so far west is nearly unthinkable. 
The NCR has forces in all directions and an outpost scant miles west from here. That they have not responded to this violence shows either an unwillingness or inability to properly defend their borders, which is telling. I've collected such musings in this report. Please take it to the Elder. All right. Is that the place he's talking about to the west? No, that's this up. Yeah, he could have gotten rid of McNamara. I decided to help him out. Let me sell all this stuff. When do I get the strong back perk, man? I need more carry weight. Welcome, sir, or ma Up, Bardock Rocks. Decreases weight. Yes. Try to get rid of this bad graph armor. Out anti material rifle. I wonder if I'll ever use it. It's always fun to use it near the end, though, because the uh, explosive bullets are so fun. Oh, I think there might be vipers here. What's up, Yahoo? Watching Vegas as you play Vegas. About time for the annual run. Nice, the sprinting game back. Sprinting doesn't do that much, but still does enough, I think. I thought it was supposed to be like double the speed, but it's like 1.4, 1.3 if I'm wearing heavy armor. Approaching from the rear. What's up, dude? Hey, approach slowly, stranger. If you have no business with me, then go. McNamara. And I am sworn to report. I've been dividing my time between the camps to the north and south of here. One belongs to the NCR, the other to a band of slavers known as Caesar's Legion. I was sure the NCR would quickly win, but that has not happened. Instead, the two sides have reached a stalemate and only occasionally send skirmishers against one another. If I didn't know better, I'd say neither side is confident enough to push for a full victory. Which seems strange given the NCR's technological edge. In any event, I've recorded my findings in this report. Please deliver it to the Elder. I'm sure he will find the contents most interesting.
Any Cazadores. What the hell? Didn't seem like that much of a drop. Uh oh. Place is mined? Sierra Madre? Uh oh. This is dead money. Cloud residue. I think that's a DLC item. People seem to like that money, but I don't fuck with it at all. Frito Montana. I think it's, uh, Frito. <laughs> Frito. I think it's alright, but it's, uh, it's definitely a slog. Has so much, uh, so many restrictions on what we can do. Kind of plays like a different game. It's definitely easier if you set up for it, too. First time around, it's kind of blow up because, like, you get stripped of everything. Have you had any luck finding the scouts? Or did you have something to discuss? I found the scouts. Good. Let's take a look. Hmm. If I'm reading this right, it appears that the NCR's grip on this region is nowhere near as firm as I thought. I'll have to review these in detail, but these reports have given me much to think about. Thank you, Outsider. You've become someone I can count on, so I believe I can share something rather confidential with you. Oh man, it's gonna come out to me. I would like you to find the components we need to fix this bunker's air filtration system. I cannot overstate the importance of this task. See Senior Knight Lorenzo for the details. He's the one who brought the matter to my attention. And the only other person who is aware of it. Senior Knight Lorenzo. Checked all stuff. <laughs> this is a lot of trouble just to blow this place up. Takes a little getting used to, doesn't it? Damn, jammed minigun, broken laser rifle, broken power armor. Are you Lorenzo? Oh, I should have with the compass. Hmm? Oh, you must be the outsider everyone's buzzing about. Pleased to meet you. I'm Lorenzo, senior knight and general handyman around here. So now I'm going to have your death on my conscience, too? Great. What? Maybe you misheard me. No, I heard you quite clearly. You're being sent off to be killed like the others. You think you're the first person the Elders trusted with this? He sent three of our patrols out looking for those components, and they're all dead. I was the one who supplied the Elder with the location of possible sites where we could find the components, so their deaths are my fault. And now it's your turn. Well, don't say you weren't warned. I won't take the blame when you die horribly. But I can tell you're getting impatient. 
The items I'll need to keep the system running are a differential pressure controller, a reverse pulse cleaner, and several HEPA cartridge filters. At present, my best guess for finding the items would be to search any of the old vaults in the area. Oh. Those vaults were usually built much like these military bunkers, even using the same contractors in their constructions at times. I'll mark the vaults' locations on your map. Best of luck to you. This is one that makes me go to Our instruments show some Vault uh, 22, right? Yeah, that darn vault. Oh, does it make you go to the dead money too? All right, I'm gonna go help out the other guy. Power fluctuations yeah. coming from across the river. Scarface and Dark Souls 2 suggestions. Maybe. It's been a while since we played Dark Souls 2. <laughs> Thanks, Neil Brown, Insomniac Doze. Looks like Mr. House is out of the picture. One less thing for us. I think I'll just uh, betray that guy and talk to Harden. Yeah. Didn't you mark Sierra Madre on the map? I did. That's a fast travel point. The abandoned uh, bunker. Maybe it's too late to talk to Harden. Okay, shouldn't he have been here? Yeah. What is it, Outsider? Have you discovered anything? I found the patrols. Just as I thought. McNamara gave my men new orders without telling me. The nerve of that man. This little stunt is probably what got them killed in the first place. Our normal patrol routes are known to be relatively safe. This is exactly what I've been looking for. McNamara gave my men new orders without telling me, thereby breaking the chain that binds. With this, I can finally have him removed as Elder and end this ridiculous oh, lockdown. BGC raid. About my reward. Well, I can't dispute that you've earned our gratitude. I'm afraid you're going to have to be patient. Oh. Such a change takes time. Stop back in a few days and we can speak of this again. Now, I must be off. There's much to do. Oh, shit. Welcome, my friend. A new day has dawned for this chapter. And moving forward, we will no longer cower in the dark. And we have you to thank for it. You'll find that I can be generous to those who show loyalty. Here, take this key. If you ever find yourself in need of repair, head to our safe house to the northeast. Now, what can I do for you? Join the Brotherhood? Yes, I thought you might, given how much time you've spent here. That's not usually a request we agree to. Typically, we take in the young so that they might be trained through adolescence. In special cases, we allow exceptional individuals to conditionally join. Luckily for you, you happen to be exceptional. The condition is that you must complete a task. Oh. This task must prove beyond a shadow of a doubt that you have what it takes to join the Brotherhood. I happen to have something perfectly suitable in mind. Though I warn you, it won't be easy. Still interested? No second thought, I'm fine not joining the Brotherhood. Hmm. <laughs> I thought you were made of sterner stuff than that. The Brotherhood could use someone with your skills. In any case, was there something else you wanted? Self-destruct codes. Bye. Bye.
They have more action points to use in vats only. No, it just gives me more action points, right? Yeah, Welcome kill all the Van Graffs. What's the task? Back when we were stationed at Helios, our scouts reported that a group was establishing itself in the area as a distributor of pre-war weapons. Our elder at the time, Elijah, was too concerned with getting Helios running and fending off the NCR, so he ordered us to leave them alone. It's time that we correct that oversight and show this region that the Brotherhood is still a force to be reckoned with. I want you to visit these weapons dealers, this Van Graaff family. Make an example of them. Leave no one alive. When the job is done, report back, and I'll arrange for a team to clean up the site and retrieve the weapons. Becoming elder was because of you, huh? Whoa, her voice sounds Good different. job. Now that the lockdown is lifted, <laughs> I may get a chance to get into a real fight. I wonder what it'll be against. Raiders? Rad scorpions? Death claws? Oh, I can't wait. So what's up? What's the password for destroying this place? It's our virtual reality training hall. We don't really go out all that often anymore, so this is how we stay sharp. Mm, any more? Yeah, a lot more. Back when we were at the Helio station. Oh, crap. I'm pretty sure I'm not supposed to talk about that, especially with outsiders. So forget you just heard that, okay? Shouldn't you be in school or something? Head scribe Taggart quickly realized my extraordinary talent when I took the mandatory VR combat testing. Soon after that, he requested that I get transferred to VR specialist training, serving as his assistant. I miss hanging out with the other students all the time, but at least I get to skip all those boring lectures. Well, like just about everyone else here, I grew up in the Brotherhood. My father was a scribe and my mother a paladin. Hmm. Are parents here somewhere? They both died at Helios 1. The others were always like a family to me before that, but afterward they became my family in truth. Later. <laughs> Later. <laughs> what the fuck? Why do they all do that? I heard some spec. Now that Hardin's elder, I hope I'll be allowed to continue my experiments. I never quite liked the way he looked at me during meetings. Like he wanted to use me for target practice. The man just has no respect for science. But enough of this. What did you want? And you are? Ah, the outsider. I suppose it's too much to ask that jarhead Ramos to keep outsiders away from my research. I am head scribe Taggart, and I am much too busy to deal with the likes of you right now. Give me the password to blow this place up already. Looks like Mr. House is out of the picture. One less thing for us to deal with. Night McNamara. Ah, outside. <laughs> I've heard that you were instrumental in providing Harden with the evidence to bring against me. And here I had thought to use you. Have you come to gloat? Or did you actually want something? The BGC revolted. It's a protective measure that was enacted after our defeat at Helios. The NCR was hot on our heels, and we wouldn't have survived another encounter. It was decided that we would stay quiet for a time, heal the wounded, and try to come up with a new strategy. However, after we had fully recuperated, our first scouting measures showed that the NCR's presence in this region had only increased in our absence. There are now more than five times the number of NCR troops in the area as when we fought them. And we have half the number we did at Helios. And so the lockdown has been extended. To go outside would be the death of us all. How do you get supplies? We have some personnel that are allowed to travel on the surface. They trade for what we need and occasionally drop off what they acquire. We make sure that they only enter or leave the bunker while the sandstorm is active to avoid detection. Time for me to go. Later. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> hey. What's going on over there? Oh, man. 
I can't believe it happened again. Later. <laughs> These Brotherhood of Steel guys are weirdos. All right, let's go take out the Van Graffos. Oh, maybe I should go head up that bunker, too. I don't like using heavy armor because you move slower, but money's good, right? I think I'm running out of useful money, though. All the implants. I got the anti-material rifle all maxed out. Maybe more explosive ammo. Dude. That's always good. Bo Bond the Cop. Thanks for the follow. Where was the... Uh, Brotherhood of Steel safe house? What's up, Love Mike? Have a big Tuesday. Man, yesterday I was thinking like, let me just get this Brotherhood branch of quests out of the way, but now I'm doing them all. It's good for the experience, right? Man, is Strong Back a perk I can get? Oh, it doesn't show me the perk tree, huh? Just add it in with console commands. Embrace the cheater within. I think I should start uh, setting up or preparing for my Oblivion run. That game has such a weird leveling system. You have uh, minor and major skills. And the trick is to level up slowly. So the enemies don't get too buff. So your most used skills should not be your major skills. Right? That's what it should be. Your major skills should be skills that you never even use. <laughs> there. That's a big death claw. <laughs> Alright, drug zombie. My suggestion. The classic PS2 version. Okay, where am I now? Okay, now that I know that death claws are there. Maybe I'll start from here. They're all dense. Damn, I believe it's double. Hitman 1? Interesting suggestion. Hitman 1 or... The original Codename 47 or Hitman 1... Hitman 7, you know, that type of thing. 
Hey, Daku New Vegas, that's a good one too. I've never played it before. This is probably like, I don't know, my 7th, 8th, maybe 10th time playing it. Man, no Dark Gun in this one. Dark Gun was so cheap for fighting Deathclaws in Fallout 3. Oh shit, I see him. This would be the perfect time to use Antimaterial Rifle that I don't have this that's for incendiary explosive oh ho, 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 ho. shit that was the young dead claw the mama death claw is code name 47 available on any like HD packages re-releases or it's always a PC one Big Death Class, good. Damn, PS2 only? And imagine that's going to be a really hard game to play on PS2 or Xbox. Does it work on PC? I think I own it on PC, but I never played it there. Oh, is that an invisible wall situation? Alright. I like physical copies of Passport. That's the idea, right? I believe it's Adobo. That's what I was thinking. It might play it on, like, a console. Easy peasy support. That's the Brotherhood safe house. Nice. Hey. What can I do for you? Why are you here? I'm here to make sure the bunker stays in one piece. I'm a master at repairing things, so I check in every so often to make sure all the equipment here is in top working condition. Hmm. If you ever have any gear you need fixed, don't hesitate to ask. Thanks, Soto. Sure thing. Repair something for me. Damn, 1700 caps? Fuck that. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Whoa, what the heck? I thought this was the bunker, but I see it's downstairs. Sato is probably going to get pissed when I kill everyone in the bunker, huh? Ooh, Tesla cannon. That's new. Gatling laser. Minigun. Damn, 
pork and dish. Damn, these are all pork and dish. Hello. And you bait me with this pork and dish and stuff, man. The recon armor is worth more. Give me well rested. Yeah. Uh, power armor here is not faction marked, huh? But it's too heavy. If I blow up the bunker, they're probably not going to let me use their safe house anymore, right? I guess we'll see. to the <laughs> safe house. What are they gonna do? Change the locks again? Welcome, sir. Or maybe we'll see. I think if you have Caesar's Legion safe house, they stop letting you use it. But yeah, I guess. What could they do? Okay, next mish, kill the Van Graffs. <laughs> this is a funny playthrough. After I gave them cast. Damn, did they kill the, uh, traveling merchant? Hmm. I don't see any bodies. And gentlemanly of you not to interrupt their parlay, right? I mean, what's my car, man? Oh, I'm evil. Take this. Maybe if I was a goody two shoe. <laughs> Stop running. Damn, I actually didn't meant to run into attacking him. Oh, damn. Hey, oh. you're the one who's 
been going around helping people around here, right? The king says to keep up the good work. He said to give you this. That's me. Thanks for the corn dog. We've got stuff we're not even allowed to see. <laughs> he just runs. Wanna get lucky? Head on down to the Atomic Wrangler. I feel bad about killing Siren though. He's cool. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Damn, they shot my mind. They were not supposed to, they're supposed to shoot me, not my mind. What the hell? back you like that I probably should have set this up better Hey, you're still back here too? Oh, a buff out. I could have taken that too. I wonder how many uh, stim packs I drank. Took. Not too many. Steel, huh? Oh, no loss of karma. The explosion must have knocked everything off the shelves.
Okay. I'm gonna sell all the stuff. All the stuff, Rexy. Even though I don't need the money, really. Gosh, this stuff is so heavy. Finally got the NCI Ranger combat armor too. Let's lose something. so much. You can lose 12 pounds. 9 pounds. You can always come back here. Sorry, Simon. Unlabored flawlessness. Oh, <laughs> damn! My bad, son. Simon worked for some bad dudes. Oh shit. Are they gonna be randomly pissed off at me now too? No tech JB. Thanks, faded. I go rock. Hell, appreciate the 14 ones, dude. This is a pretty good Vegas. I'm gonna have to agree. This is a cool song. Rare to hear it without, like, you know, a bunch of other stuff going on, on top of it. Okay. Where do I want to go to sell the rest of this? No luck? Psycho, Med X, and Buff Out. That's a pretty strong combo. Welcome back. Can I get you? Sure thing. Have a look. This guy doesn't have enough stuff on him.
Hey, right. pretty chancy. Just need to sell this combat armor for 3k. Song too. <laughs> Damn, Grandma gave me a joint for your birthday? Thanks, Grandma. Hopefully, that's some good ass shit. What can I do for you? All right. Whoops. What's all this do? Grandma Kush. What can I do for you? Medical supplies. He's got more stim packs. And super stim packs. I guess I'll take those. All the drugs. I guess that's a decent enough grade. Pleasure doing business with you. That's cool. If your grandma could get hot by weed, then that is awesome. And especially if she's open to it, too. I know a lot of uh, the old generation is, like, really against that type of shit, you know? Even though, like, it could help them out in so many different ways. Just being told your whole life that it's, like, you know, for degenerates and Twitch watchers. A few of us wanted to thank you for being such a good friend to the Brotherhood. So we've set aside some of our recycled energy cells. We'll leave a few of them in that footlocker in the corner every so often. The Paladins scoff at using recycled ammo, so no one should mind. What up, Hanzo the Ninja? The reports say Mr. Daddy the Real. But yeah, I definitely think that, uh... The old weed smoking has its uses. And has gotten a bad rap. Welcome back, my friend. What can I do for you? Maybe some of it deserve it, though. Most of it not. Well done. This is a small step in the right direction. But it's damn good to move forward again. Now, I believe congratulations are in order. It is my honor to bestow upon you the title of Paladin of the Brotherhood. For your meritorious service in its name. Normally there'd be a ceremony and such, but everyone is too busy at the moment for such frivolity. I can give you this, however. Your very own suit of power armor. <laughs> we can't spare our best, but I had the knights assemble this one for your use. Which reminds me, you don't even know how to use these, do you? Nice. It's just like other armor, but heavy, right? Not even close. Power armor isn't something you wear so much as use. It's a weapon in its own right, and takes skill to wield. 
If you don't know what you're doing, you won't even be able to walk with it on. So how about a bit of quick instruction? I'd appreciate a lesson. Here, I'll show you. It's easy once you get used to it. First, we'll start with putting it on. And then you relax. And then it's on. There. I think you got the hang of it now. Should be able to use any type of power armor you come across using what you just learned. Very well, then. In addition to the armor, I've given the order that all of our arms and equipment be made available for your purchase. Finally, while you are now a member of the Brotherhood, I cannot ask any more of you. I'm sure you have goals of your own outside these walls. You are free to come and go as you please. Though I hope you'll return to us someday in a more permanent capacity. I wish you the best outside. Brother. Oh, hey, brother. Uh, do you like Fallout 4 Power Armor? Felt much like MechWarrior. Yeah, I thought Fallout 4 Power Armor, like, at first. The first time I played that game, I didn't really like it. I thought it was annoying. It's still pretty annoying, you know. Everything in that game is like cool, but kind of annoying, you know. Like the way you have to go into power armor uh, stands and like repair individual parts of it. The reports say Mr. House's robots are now using tech we've never heard of. We need to send. But it's all right. The team up there soon. Delta eight synth cannabinoids. That that uh, what do they call that other fake stuff? K two or spice? Is this the terminal that blows it up? Oh yeah. Oh, but they're watching, huh? Looks like Mr. House is like what did you do? Generate self-destruct password. Oh. It's out of the picture. Insert the all three keys, huh? To deal with. I gotta steal their cards. Head scribe, health paladin, elder. Head scribe, huh? I think my sneak skill is pretty shitty. I'm probably not going to be able to steal from these dudes. Oh, hey, maybe not. Oh, shit. <laughs> Whoa. Your voice is pretty sick. Diced her up midair. She was asking for it. Up on can. Uh -huh. Shit, zap glove, huh? Can't stand up to this. Holy crap. a lot of money.
Oh, Jesus, that guy shot me too. That guy also has a Goss rifle. Too heavy. Elder key card. Nice scribe key card too. <laughs> There's a lot of them. Yeah. We need to get lucky and hey. steal all the cards. Okay, that's one success. They didn't even notice. They didn't even notice, right? Until I started moving. Oh, he's pissed. He noticed. If the right after you steal the item, if the dial, if the uh, screen changes, that means they noticed you. But if you're still in the screen after you steal something, that means they didn't notice you. So it forced the exit out of the screen. So now this guy's pissed. Watch out. Yep. Aha. Aha. He noticed. See, I can see him red on my radar. See, he's the red tick mark. My arm's kind of blocking it. Yeah. He's pissed. Over here. 
How about her? Yeah, I could probably help with uh, some of the sneak books I have. Nope, he noticed. Whoa! Whoa. God, those gas rifles do so much Danny. Let's get lucky. Got lucky. He didn't notice that one. Okay, who else do I need it from? Paladin Ramos? Head pal is he head Paladin Ramos? Head Paladin Ramos? Is he up here? See me leave. Hopefully, he doesn't alert everyone else that he's pissed, then it could just blow the mine. I'm gonna blow the bunker. Slowly but surely. Alright. Let's see if anyone's pissed down here. No, they're good, right? Yeah. Yeah. No problemo. Which way is the struck chamber over here? Hey. Later. I think these people get pissed if they notice me messing with this. And she always look she's always looking at me. Don't I have all three passcodes? What the hell? How do you insert stuff?
Elder card. And scribe card. Oh, I must not have gotten it. Yeah, maybe the pickpocket failed and didn't give it to you. That's what it was. I thought if it fails, then it gives it to you. You just take it, but they get pissed. Yeah. Whoa, <laughs> he put his helmet on quick. Instead of stealing it, I'll just do that. I found the oh shit, they know. <laughs> they know. How do they know? Nice. He didn't... He didn't know. Oh, they're going to know if I hit the self-destruct, too? Shoot. Uh, well, I mean, I'll just run away, right? No need to kill them all. Me and my trusty katana. Looks like Mr. House is out of the picture. One less thing for us to deal with. Yeah, looks like. Password generated. Oh, yeah, they know. Thirteen point. Thanks for the follows. All right, let's get Ramos out of there. Run away! Are they chasing? No, they're not chasing. They're good. Man, I forgot I picked up that big book of science. Oh, shit. Whoa, what the heck? Is that attached to my head? I can still use the uh, safe house. Oh, can you see the first person? I should have checked that, huh? Oh, shit, it's still there. Nope. Whoa, that's a. <laughs> Damn. This shit's everywhere. Nope.
You like that? You like that? Hey! Get wrecked. Attack me in my own house. Crazy. I'm just gonna have this naked dude in there the whole time though. Damn, he could, I should have had him repair my uh, leather armor. <laughs> Babe. Oh, is this faction power armor? No, it seems alright. I think it would say. Yeah. Seems I. <laughs> Too bad it has this. Whoa, that just glitched forever? Seems like it. By order of cut. Ah, wait. <laughs> I still have my floating katanas. And three katanas on my hip. Man, you run so slowly. Oh, dang! It's glitched forever with every armor? Oh, boy. The ghost of all those, uh, Brotherhood guys that blew up. Yeah, it's still like that. Has the Brotherhood been destroyed? They've been destroyed. Very well. This latest victory brings to a close my efforts to reshape the power balance of the Mojave. And not a minute too soon. I want you to join me in my tent. You and I are going to have a private conversation. Gross. I think you need like 70 or 80 for oh, jury rigging. Some ridiculous amount. All right, let's state the obvious. There's something wrong with me. The headache started a couple of months ago. They weren't too bad at first, but now they come frequently and they're debilitating. For the past two weeks, my left leg has been dragging. It's stiffer, hard to move. And you've seen me blank out. Lucia says I stare into space, blink a few times, then keep talking like nothing happened. So what's the diagnosis? You're crazy. Damn. Medicine or speech? Straightforward case of intracranial blastoma fribulosis. Brain lesion, most likely a tumor. I figured as much. Congratulations. You just became my personal physician. Do you have what you need to treat my condition? Oh. I could perform the surgery. I need proper tools and supplies from a doctor's bag. 
Then gather those items together and hurry back to perform the operation. I don't know how long I've got. What about the auto dock in your tent? It's never had a functional diagnostic scanning module. Without that, it's useless for surgery. Where would I find diagnostic scanning? It's been said that the autodocs were standard equipment in the underground vaults where mankind survived when the bombs fell centuries ago. You can search the vaults, but every autodoc my legion has run across has been stripped for parts long before we found it. Some of my scouts did report an abandoned vault near Nellis Air Force Base. Overrun by ghouls, they said. Maybe the infestation has been there long enough to keep scavengers out. Why don't you go and see? Do that, and try not to take too long. What do I need for the operation? Doctor's bag? A set of surgical tools. Oh, New Vegas Medical Clinic? That's easy. That's easy. I mean, I have doctor's bags. I need to do some good quests or good karma quests to even out my... Uh, Karma again. Evil playthrough. You're back. Do you need medical attention? Goodbye. Hello. Give me your surgical You're back. tools. Surgical tool. Damn. Rip off. Power armor sucks. T Ripping me off, Doc. I don't have to acquire a functioning dying. Do I? I'll perform the brain surgery. I think that's if I want the machine to perform it, right? I think that's all I need. By order of Kai I am Kaizar. Oh, wait. Alway? If she sells her surgical tools, what does she use to do surgery? Does she just like make these surgical tools when she's bored? Awe, true to Kaisar. Kaisar sleeps, but doesn't awaken. I fear it is only a matter of days before death claims him. You will answer to me until such a time as Kaisar is able to resume leadership. If Caesar dies, who takes over the Legion? Legged Lanius will take Kaisar's place at the head of the Legion. The Legged is a fine warrior, and the Legion will do well under his command. Mm, goodbye. Wale. Why? Seventy-five or greater. I think I have eighty. 
And I'm well rested. Form the operation. Damn, that shit was quick. I thank you for saving my life. <laughs> You're a warrior and a healer. A rare combination. I trust this payment is adequate compensation for your troubles. Now, lest we grow sentimental here, the time for battle will soon be upon us. Legatus Linnaeus draws nigh. When he arrives, my legion will assault Hoover Dam. In the meantime, the profligates have prepared a welcome gift for us. The president of the NCR intends to visit Hoover Dam. Won't killing President Campbell just anger the NCR? I don't have to explain the reasoning behind my commands. Oh. I just give them, and you do them. That said, every once in a while I hear something so ignorant I have to respond. <laughs> Dude, what an ass. This is one of those times. <laughs> the profligate's morale is in the shitter. They've occupied the Mojave for years, getting picked off one by one. They were told it'd be easy. They keep being told that victory is right around the corner, that Vegas will roll over, become the sixth state of their little union. It's President Kimball who's been telling them that. When he dies, the enormity of his lies will come crashing down, a punchline to a bad joke. No tech milk. Oh, damn, Necropolis. I'll kill President Kimball for you, dude. <laughs> for the four to three months? Hell, appreciate it, dude. That's what I like to hear. One of my frumentari has set up camp near Hoover Dam. His name is Cato Hostilius. Go to him. He'll have further instructions. Come on, Cato. You know everything you need to know. Be on your way. I'm done working for you. Some questions? What did you want to know? Mm, tell me about Volps and Kalta. Wulpes is the best of my frumentari. Volpes, I guess. A remarkable individual from an unremarkable tribe south of the Utah. He was brought into the Legion as a boy. Survived training. Fought well enough as a legionary to be promoted to the rank of Decanus. Then in battle against an unimportant tribe. He broke ranks and led his contubernium through a hole in their defenses to capture its chieftain. Well, his Kentorian wanted him crucified for disobedience, so I made him a frumentari. What's a frumentari? Whatever I require. Infiltration, assassination, What's a frumentari? atrocities to break the spirit of the enemy, etc. They're mentally flexible. They operate behind enemy lines for extended periods, imitating the enemy's customs without becoming sullied. And all these hmm. things... Wolpus is a master. Et cetera, et cetera. What else did you want to know? Why is Kaiser's Legion so strange? I used Imperial Rome as the model for my Legion precisely because it was so foreign, so alien. I'd seen what had become of the NCR's attempts to emulate the culture of pre-war America, the infighting. The corruption. Rome was a highly militarized autocracy that effectively integrated the foreign cultures it conquered. It dedicated its citizens to something higher than themselves, to the idea of Rome itself. In Rome, I found a template for a society equal to the challenges of the post-apocalyptic world, a society that could and would survive, a society that could prevent mankind from fracturing and destroying itself in this new world. By establishing a new Pax Romana. So you're a nerd. What does Pax Romana mean? It means a nationalist, imperialist, totalitarian, homogenous culture that obliterates the identity of every group it conquers. Long-term stability at all costs. The individual has no value beyond his utility to the state, whether as an instrument of war or production. So you'll destroy the NCR because you hate its inefficiencies. No. I'll destroy it because it's inevitable that it be destroyed. It's Hegelian dialectics, not personal animosity. What the hell is <laughs> Hegelian dialectics? How do I put this basically enough? It's a philosophical theory. The kind you might encounter if you took time to read some books. The what fundamental books? premise 
is to envision history as a sequence of dialectical conflicts. Each dialectic begins with a proposition, a thesis, which inherently contains or creates its opposite, an antithesis. Thesis and antithesis. The conflict is inevitable, but the resolution of the conflict yields something new, a synthesis, eliminating the flaws in each, leaving behind common elements and ideas. So what's dialectic about you and the NCR? The bombs wiped the slate clean. Human civilization descended to a level of ignorance that effectively set our cultural progress back to zero. The NCR has all the problems of the ancient Roman Republic. Extreme bureaucracy, corruption, extensive senatorial infighting. Just as with the ancient Republic, it is natural that a military force should conquer and transform the NCR into a military dictatorship. Thesis and antithesis. The Colorado River is my Rubicon. The NCR Council will be eradicated. But the new synthesis will change the Legion as well. From a basically nomadic army to a standing military force that protects its citizens and the power of its dictator. Rubicon, huh? What else did you want to know? Rubicon? Uh, how did you rise to power? Ironically, I was born a profligate myself. A citizen of the NCR. My family lived not far from the Great Boneyard. After raiders killed my father, my mother sought the followers' protection. I was two years old. She found work at their library cooking and cleaning. I learned how to read and soon I was taking courses free of charge. You're a follower of the apocalypse? Oh yes, raised in that tradition. And the teaching stuck. I was taught it was my responsibility to bring the torch of knowledge to the waste. I may have taken the torch part more literally than they intended. Hmm, what changed you from a follower to a dictator? When I was 20, the followers sent me east to Grand Canyon. It was my first expedition. Just me and a physician named Calhoun. As an anthropologist and linguist, my assignment was to learn the dialects of the Grand Canyon tribes. What a fucking waste of time. Why well, would it be a waste of time? If you think it's worthwhile to make smart people learn how to talk like backward savages, you're a follower of the apocalypse. Or an idiot. Anyway, we met up with a Mormon missionary who already knew a bunch of dialects. Joshua Graham. Uh -oh. He was supposed to teach me. But before JG? that went too far, the Blackfoot tribe captured us to hold us for ransom. They were a backward bunch. But the real problem was, they didn't know how to fight. What was wrong with the Blackfoot? The Blackfoot were at war with seven other tribes. Each just as pissant as they were. But outnumbered like that, they weren't going to last long. It's one thing to be taken hostage, another to be lashed to a sinking ship. So over Calhoun's objections, I decided to take certain steps. What steps? I taught them how to use the guns they already had. How to strip and clean them, how to breathe when pulling a trigger, how to reload ammunition. They looked at me like I was some kind of a sorcerer. So I taught them how to make explosives and started drilling them on small unit tactics. If there's anything I learned as a follower of the apocalypse, it's that there's a lot of good information in old books. What happened after you trained the Blackfoot? Duide et Impera. Divide and conquer. Do we day? I led the Blackfoot against the Ridgers, their weakest enemy. When they refused to surrender, I ordered every man, woman, and child killed. When next we surrounded the Kaibabs, and they likewise refused, I took one of their envoys to the Ridgers' village and showed him the corpse piles. This was new for the tribes, you see. They played at war, raiding each other, a little rape and pillage here, a little ransoming there. I showed them total warfare. Like I said, there's a lot you can learn from old books. So what happened to the tribes? Kaibobs joined me, and the Fredonians after that. All the pissant tribes with names that should be forgotten. I knew from the start 
I'd need to eradicate this plague of tribal identities, replacing them with a monolithic culture, a uniform identity. So that's what I did once my confederation of tribes was large enough. I crowned myself Kaisar and created a single great tribe, my legion. I sent Calhoun, the follower captured with me back west with a message that I should not be interfered with. Joshua Graham, the Mormon interpreter, stayed with me and served as my first legatus. Hmm. Uh, it's informing the Legion all you've done is conquer other tribes? That's right. Decades of warfare, absorbing lesser tribes, gathering power. Forging the dross into a vast, razor-sharp scythe. My Legion's expansion has never ceased. Much of the Utah and Colorado and all of Arizona and New Mexico are mine. We have cities of our own, but nothing compared to Vegas. Finally, my legion will have its Rome. Hmm, talk about something else. What else did you want to know? Mm, I guess that's it. What else then? I have some questions. Even with a president to kill, you have questions? <laughs> that's enough questions. What else then? I have some questions. What else did you want to know? <laughs> All right. What else then? Enough questions. Goodbye. Complete your mission and return to me. Alway, true to Kaiser. I think this is like leading me toward the end game, right? Well, I'm actually liked by Kaiser. I want to do that Black Rock Mountain quest. Oh, Emeritus and Red Rock Canyon too, huh? Captain Curtis. Uh, McCarran. I don't think McCarran's going to appreciate my being there. Oh, I never talked to Vulpus? I thought I did. Did you get the Legion safe house? No, I didn't. Now that they like me, they should be giving it to me soon, right? Uh, Gregor? Gregorio? Some of the slaves have been spreading stories about the burned man again. Man, Vulpus does not look like Vulpus. He should put his uh, wolf hat mask on. I'm pleased that you were able to cure Kaisar's malady. Though the Legate is a fine leader, we yet need the wisdom of Kaisar to guide the Legion. Excellent. Had you simply killed them, the Omertas would have sent another group after Martina eventually. You've saved me the trouble of coming up with a more permanent solution. And Martina is free to go about her business as usual. Well done. Goodbye. Well, lay. Mm, bye. Some of the slaves have been spreading stories about the burn. Yeah, who gives the Legion safe house? Don't they just send someone after you? Like how every region does? Just send a goober. Punching guy. Punching guy? Oh, Lucius? For some reason I thought it, the punching guy was this guy over here. Oh no, this is not where I want to go. Those are the Cazadors. Those are all cat dories. <laughs> Man, those... I can't believe that katana is stuck like that now. Coyote, tail, ridge. Oh, dang. More... Cause the door is I better get out of here.
Where's Black Rock? There it is. Dang, isn't this Dead Claw area? What the hell? It's being pulled into a black hole. Gosh, I gotta set the weapons again. Can those floating things get clipped on stuff and prevent you from moving? That's never happened to me, but I imagine they can. Can I wear the authority glasses and the helmet? I don't think I can, right? Yeah. Who's this guy? Oh, I've been through here. I thought it was dead, uh. Brotherland, Brotherhood guy there. I'm finally going to meet some super mutants. Man, invisible wall? Upgraded weapons. Utopatha. This 
friend Tabitha, some of our listeners may wonder how you can call them dum-dums on the air like this. That's a good question, Rhonda. Thank you. The truth is, they're so dumb, they don't even know that I'm talking about them right now. Oh, what? And that's another revealing look at mutant kind. Second generation super mutants. Big, numerous, <gasps> What the hell is he carrying? More after this. I'm not even explosive rounds, I just realized. Whoa, did he just, did he just get out? What? What the hell? You were inside. That guy carry. Maybe incinerated. Damn, that guy took off. Material rifle with explosive bullets. That shit's great. <laughs> Sixty science. That's a shit ton of science. I think I only have like twenty. Don't I meet Rawl somewhere? Raul? Is he in here? Guess I'm supposed to get the key from somewhere. I think there's a lot of these guys in here.
East Terminal, huh? Cancers. Okay, let's go er words. All right. Allowances. Gangers? Dangers? Daggers? Damn, it could be a ton of these. Dangers or daggers. I'm about to back out because I can't decide. And none of these want to give me a allowance like, replenish. Man, hacking sucks. that one, can't be this one, can't be this one, can't be that one, and I'll start with the, or have an E for the second letter. So maybe it's not an ing word. Yeah, they all have E as a second letter. Hmm. Damn! And that was replenished on that one? It's not an E word. Oh, they're just logs. Choir's key, darn. 
Damn, key is next to a barrel under the stairs. Not these barrels, huh? I wonder if flipping those switches did anything. Hand. I think they get pissed. I found the intruder. Oh shit, yeah, she's pissed. We're strong back. Five endurance. Dang. Ninety repair. Dang. <laughs> Dang. Ninety repair. She was asking for it. What is the way to solve that with uh, without her dying, right? It's kind of like get Rawls to do it. If I free Rawls, Raul, does he take over the radio? Or do you just uh, offer to follow me around? I think he repairs stuff for me. Didn't I get his key? Her key? Oh no, I think if I let her live, then uh, the super mutants don't come after me. all the way over here.
Lord dead. There has to be a bed or something around right here. I think this is where you get the key to Raul. Yeah. Good amount of caps. Key for Rolf behind the main building at the top. Okay. I'm not sure how this quest is gonna go. Nice. Now that I've killed her before talking to him though. Go on the show, on the radio, and ruin the talk show. No, I just ended up killing her. <laughs> just surprised her and chopped her head off. I will just bum rush through this quest. What's that guy I shot? Super Sledge. I, mean, I wish I got 90 repair before this level, so I could have got jury rigging. I think it requires level 18, too. Hi. <sighs> Key to Raw's building. the main building at the top. Uh, there was a different key that I picked up near the stairs already. Or maybe... There's two sets of keys. Oh, there's a gate here too. Key here that I grabbed.
That was it. I tried to open up the prison, but it didn't work. Whoa, nice color change. Do I need to read the entries first? Password. Yo, let me sleep on your bed. All right. You got any cool stuff in here? Jack your noodles. Took you long enough. So can I go now? <laughs> what do you mean it took you long enough? Sorry. I assume the only reason you'd fight past a horde of super mutants and pick the lock on my cell is if you heard my cry for help on the radio. But maybe you're just sightseeing. So since the door's open and all, can I go now? Who are you? Name's Raul. Raul Alfonso Tejada. I'm the mechanic around here. Why does your jumpsuit say Miguel? Probably because it used to be Miguel's. Whoever he was. How about if you let me go, huh, boss? There's a mechanic around here? <laughs> uh, no. No, boss. I'm a prisoner of the crazy super mutant with the wig and the glasses. I was kind of hoping you were here to set me free. But maybe I'm not a pretty enough damsel for that. Huh? Can you repair some of my stuff? Sure, boss. I'd be happy to prolong my captivity and psychological abuse to tighten some lug nuts for you. Hey, thanks, dude. Really like my uh, leather armor to be repaired. Damn, but it costs so much. I haven't heard a fresh batch of crazy coming out of the radio in a while. Does that mean I can leave? Actually, hang out for a while, Cat Man, you forget about me already, boss. <laughs> you sure, you didn't take a blow to the head or something. My name is Raúl Alfonso de Jara. Can I leave now, or did you want to ask me again in five minutes? Dang, did I mess up the chance to have him be my companion? It's not giving me the options anymore. Back again? Can I go this time, or do you have something else in mind? It's okay by me. Enjoy your freedom. Alrighty then. I'll just head out. Alone. By myself. Okay. Into the dangerous waste. You'll do fine. Farewell, mi amigo. <laughs> Anything's better than staying here. Let's go. Cool. Not to worry, boss. I'm sure killing the boss of one of the families will in no way lead to savage, bloody reprisals against you and your loved ones. Relax, dude. Questions, boss? You mean you don't know everything there is to know already? Mm. That's all I want to know. Anything you say, boss. Let's give him some gear, though. I expect to be awed by your dizzy mercantile sense, boss. Oh, damn, sick. Authority glasses. Cowboy hat. Naughty nightwear. Oh, you don't wear the glasses? Got it. I'll be way. Oh, I wouldn't dream of getting. Got it. I'll be way back here, boss. Oh, I wouldn't dream of getting too far away, boss. 
I'm sure you'll be fair in it. Oh, there you go. Sick. I'm sure you'll be fair and equitable, boss. Let me go to Nuvac and talk to the doctor. Yeah, no bark. What can I do for you? Radiation. Yeah, Brotherhood safe house. I was thinking of just leaving him uh, wherever, but maybe I will take him around with me. too much. I can't believe we were allowed inside the Lucky 38. That place has been a legend since before the war. Sure, boss. What do you want to know? Who are you? <laughs> you forget about me already, boss? My name. Can you repair something for me? Can this guy repair something for me? Boss, usually when somebody gives you a name and nothing else, it's because that's all they want to give you. I'm an open book, boss. Granted, the book's in Spanish and some of the pages have fallen out, but I'm an open book. I'm not much use besides being a portable encyclopedia, really. I guess you could use me as a packed Brahmin, but my knees aren't so good anymore. I don't believe that. You got f oh, repair my equipment. I don't have the supplies for a real repair job, but I can do some routine maintenance to keep your gear working longer. It won't exactly get better, but it'll get worse slower. Tell you something about yourself. Where are you from? I was born just outside Mexico City. My family had a little ranch there. Tell me something about you. Who are you? Old enough to know better, boss. Old enough to know better. What's Petro Chico? You never heard of Petro Chico? Un amigo de Poseidon Energy. Eh, of course not. They were an oil company in Mexico back before the war. I'm... 
How'd you end up at Black Mountain? Well, boss, when a giant insane super mutant asks you to stay put, you do what you're told. Well, maybe you don't. But I'm just a broke down old man. How did Tabitha find you in the first place? Eh, it's stupid, boss. I used to listen to the radio broadcast. Just to pass the time. Well, one day the signal stopped. So I figured I'd try to find a transmitter. I'm a pretty good repairman. Or I was before my eyes started to go. Anyway, I found Black Mountain and offered my services. But Tabitha decided I was useful enough to keep around. Permanently. Talk about something else. Talk about your tactics. Enough about tactics. Nothing going on. Damn, he's not going to offer to repair my stuff for me anymore? Bummer. I expect to be awed by your dizzy mercantile sense, boss. I'm able to wear that faction armor. Bummer. Can you wear my power armor? He just drops it on the floor, you bitch. I expect to be awed by your dizzy mercantile sense, boss. Oh, 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 sick. <laughs> sick. That's the old style power armor, too. to sell my weapons again. What's my next quest? Oh, kill Kim, uh, Kimball. do that one just yet. Help the NCR. I think the NCR is pissed at me though. Now, can you even recruit the BOS companion now or does she know that it was you? I think she knows that it's you. Welcome, sir. Or She's at like some rest stop, right? Wish to purchase something? But I forget where. I'll go see if I can find it. Gosh, I shouldn't have sold the, com the combat armor. That's going to cost so much to get it back.
just need jury rigging so I can repair my stuff. He looks weird in power armor. <laughs> Angry soldier robots with bazookas. I'm sure they'll be a good police force. Sure. Who are you? You forget about me already, boss? You sure you didn't take a blow to the head or something? My name is Raul Alfonso Tejada. Why does your jumpsuit say Miguel? Probably because it used to be Miguel's. <laughs> Alright. You passed the test. Yeah, I think Captain Carrier will be pissed at me. We'll check it out. Oh, yep, he's pissed. Call me out over your raw. Yep, these dudes definitely don't like me. God, I can't believe those things are still flying there. Oh. Oh. Nice shot. I should take the service rifles. I wonder how many star caps I have. Twenty-eight. I think you need like twenty-five or fifty. Uh oh, uh oh. Lafferty wanted me to stop the uh, illegal. It's like looking into a mirror. Attacking cowboy festoon here. <laughs> stop the illegal mining of sunset caps. That one. Area clear. Proceeding with search protocol. 
Whoa. That scared me. Please step into the open and I identify yourself. Law abiding search protocol have nothing to fear. Scanning for engaging hostile target. Wow, 55 experience? That's good. Okay, I guess we're doing this. What are you talking about? Sure, boss. Doesn't like robots, I guess. I'm looking, I'm looking. Cap press out of action. This area clear. Proceeding with search protocol. I'm looking, I'm looking. Please step into the open and identify yourself. Law-abiding citizens have nothing to fear. Boss, because I don't see so good. Hmm. I'm looking, I'm looking. I'm looking too. Relax. There's always got to be some kind of container. Of the sunset sarsaparilla. It's a good replacement for our stem packs.
Alright, let's get out of here. Oh. Usually if they have a stack of caps like that on the table or wherever, one of them is a star cap. Do you actually need 50 star bottle caps to open the vault to your prize? I think so, right? To talk to Festivus or whatever? I didn't see him though. I think he's, a, he's around this location. Best of us for the rest of us. Man, these katanas are getting worse. The Welcome back. Damn, this song's sick. Bottle cap is no longer a problem. Bottle cap press is no longer Good. a problem. I'm sure you were thorough. Here's your payment for a job well done. Only 110 experience? That's bullshit. What would you like to know? Why is a bottle cap press a problem for you? People have been counterfeiting bottle caps forever, but it's always been small scale. A bottle cap press is a whole other threat. We can't have anyone devaluing our currency by mass producing new bottle caps. What makes a bottle cap genuine? Lots of little things. The paint on the label, the machining, the type of metal it's made from. I know there's counterfeit caps floating around, of course. Fortunately, they're very time consuming to make, so the numbers are small. All right. Is there any. Goodbye. It's been a pleasure. Oh, damn. Bangers all day. Hey there. You looking to buy or sell? Can do. I still have a lottery ticket. Get that shit back. Okay, I think that's enough side missions, right? Why hoard all the pre-war money? I don't know. I just kind of like it. It's a weightless. That's really cool. 246 of them. Why am I accepted at Red Rock Canyon? Alright, Festus is right at the entrance. Is he outside or inside? I always forget. He's like in the side or something, right? I think I'm gonna run into the f named fiends if I go over there. Territory. Well, they got laser rifles. This guy's a bitches. Keeping 
quiet. Unless my creepy knees give us away. Oops. Not shooting. Disassembled weapons shipment? 5,000 value? I've never seen that before. Who, who, who wants that stuff? Who, who wants that stuff? Five thousand. Quest item, huh? Hmm. Someone must want it. Yo, know, raw. <laughs> Not a good spot. Let's dance. Yeah, he blew up his own cow. Cook Cook's mangled head. Ooh, fresh potatoes.
There's three of you fiends, right? Oh, recipe for fresh potatoes. I never really use any of the uh, crafting. I'll just skip it. Yeah, where did I blast her? <laughs> Violet's head. Someone else has a head too. Cook, cook, Violet, and just one other dude. You could kill him with like a. You get this nine iron. He has like a unique nine iron, right? I wonder if he's going to be in that area. Driver Nephi. There you go. Has to do something with golf. Beautiful invisible walls. Oh, hey, all the copies of the katanas. Oh, wait, nope, it's happening again. I leave like a copy of the katana wherever I look. Man, I always hated the path to Red Rock Fountain, right? You have to go around and follow the road. You can't just go straight over those mountains. Or maybe you can. This is why, one of the reasons why I like Fallout 3 more than New Vegas. These invisible walls. So unrealistic. What? Who the hell? The Rangers. I need some more armor. Run a war. That shit does so little damage. Holy cow, I'm done.
Man. Where is the mysterious stranger? Let me get him once. Man, dynamite is crazy shitty. What the hell was that? Where's my homie Raw? I don't think they could die in normal mode, right? There should have been one more... Oh, there he is. <laughs> there should have been one more uh, Ranger, too. Hey, boss. That surgery reminded me of something. I got this funny lump right down here. Think you'd take a look at it? Sure, boss. There should have been one more NCR dude. Alright, there's two bodies. What did Raw do with the last body? Raul, you crazy. Damn, they're going super fast. Damn, that guy is fucking chomping down on uh, stim packs. Give me those glasses. Now that I'm an evil character, they always send these NCR hit squads after me. Muy annoy. And this guy just vanishes. <laughs> he looks so big. Hmm. 
yeah, it needs jetpacks like Fallout 4. Jetpacks were pretty cool, but I just didn't like the way what, the fusion cores worked with power armors and power armors were cool, but a little annoying to use all the time, right? Maybe I should play that game again too, Fallout 4. It's been a while. What a homie. It's starting to feel like tensions are coming to a boil. It will be full scale war. Tell me plan to ignore the great con if I just came down here and met him. What's up, Jerry the Punk? What are you doing? Uh, nothing really. Just trying to psych myself up to try my initiation. Again. <laughs> Sounds like you're writing poetry. Oh, you heard that, huh? Okay, so, yeah, I was writing poetry. I know, I know, it's not a very great con-like thing to do. The followers of the Apocalypse came to our camp when I was a kid, and they brought a bunch of old books. I used to read pre-war poetry for hours. Why isn't poetry great con-like? Have you seen this tribe? If it's not an epic drunken ballad of cracking skulls and hearing lamentations, they think it's a waste of time. Hmm, sounds like you're not happy being a great con. Maybe you'd be happier someplace else. Yeah, maybe you're right. Maybe I can find my true calling someplace they'll appreciate my poetry. Some place like the old Mormon fort, maybe. Do you think the followers of the Apocalypse would take me? And remember all those books they brought us when they visited our tribe. I could ask them for you. You'd do that? Thanks! I mean, I'd go myself, but what if they said no? The Khans wouldn't take me back, and then I'd have nobody. What is this initiation? Everybody has to do it. Well, everybody who wants to be a Khan, anyways. They toss you into the ring there and beat on you for a solid minute. If you survive, you're in. That doesn't sound so bad. Sure, maybe not if you're some hulking reprobate like Regis or big to the gills like Jack. I've tried five times and still haven't made it. Hmm. Indulgent. What rhymes with indulgent? Default. Oh, no, no, that's terrible. I wonder if anything rhymes with cast. <laughs> Sup, amigos, AD up, Quan. What up, amigo? How's it going, Iggy? I'm chilling, dude. Thank you for the big two months. I hell appreciate it, dude. Can't be going wrong with playing New Vegas. And it hasn't crashed. Except, you know, that first time when I first started to stream up. This game has a crazy reputation for crashing all the time. All the Fallout's do, don't they? So no crashing. Great time. I guess the leader's hut. Nope. Which one's the leader's hut? It has to be like one of these. Stuff with the great cons. I gotta find their big hookah hut. Oh, maybe it's that one over there. Hey, didn't this guy over here sell me chems? The 
Breaking Bad trailers. Huh? Hey, look who it is bringing that good con karma around. We've got an impressive setup here. Have you considered making more helpful kins? What do you mean, helpful? My stuff already makes people feel grudelicious. But think of all the people who overdose on Jet and Psycho. It's bad for your karma, bro. Oh, you're right. I should start a side project making meds to keep my aura clean. <laughs> okay. How's the medical work going? Already on it. I whipped up a few stim packs already. But if you've got any more recipes, I'll take them. What is it that you do here? Do? We don't like do anything. We make the magic happen. Okay. Then what do you make? We make the happy stuff. What do you need? Jet? Psycho? A little med -X to ease the pain? You're drug dealers. Nah, kitten. More like drug suppliers. Yeah. Other folks sell them. Diane's mostly in charge of that. How'd you get into the business? Guess I just had a natural talent for it. When I was a kid, these cats called the followers of the apocalypse came to our camp. They knew all kinds of kooky, scientastical stuff, so I ate up all the chemistry they could teach. Diane had the head for business, so we teamed up. Nice. Whatever. Later. Diane handles most of the transactional elements of this little enterprise, but I'm always in the market for new recipes if you've got the spark. I know a few recipes for cans you might want. Right on. What have you got? Uh, shit, I don't have any science, huh? On second thought, cool. nothing new. I'll have to come back. Go. Oh. I just need a little bit more science. You're not one of my regulars. What do you want? What is it that you do here? Have you started making meds yet? Yeah, you made a pretty good argument. We'll keep it small for now, but if it turns a profit, we might expand. Hmm. Looking to make a few caps? Hmm. You look like you could handle yourself in a fix. All right, I'll tell you what. Anders, one of my best runners, is overdue to report back. If you can find out what happened to him, I'll give you some real work. Sure. About three weeks ago, I sent Anders southeast to find a route into Arizona to open new markets for our product. He should have been back two days ago, but there's been no sign of him. Okay, I'll be back. Thanks. Prove you're liable on this, and I'll have more for you later. Her voice sounds kind of unique. Alright, I still need to get up there. Yeah, jetpack would be real nice right now. I need to give that guy some new armor. This shit looks way too weird on him. I gotta give him combat armor like uh, Sharon. Sharon from Fallout 3. I think that was cool. This is the meeting house. So the cub enters the wolf's den. What do you want, cub? 
Who are you? You march all the way out to Red Rock Canyon, enter my home as bold as you please, and you have no idea who I am? You've got guts, I'll give you that. Well then, let me educate you. I am the chief of the great cons. The con of cons, if you like. This is my tribe, and these are my people. Can you tell me about your people? You want to hear the story of the great cons? It's a long one, full of honor, glory, and betrayal. We have suffered, but we will regain our glory. Mm, tell me the short version. In a hurry, are you? Very well, then. The great cons came east, out of the NCR 14 years ago. We ruled the wastes then, and called no man master. But we underestimated the families of the Strip, and they drove us back to Bitter Springs, where we remained until the NCR arrived and drove us here. Mm, how did the three families defeat you? They allied with Mr. House, the self-proclaimed master of New Vegas. He supported them with the resources of New Vegas. Weapons, technology, caps. They were better equipped, and we could not stand against them. What happened to Bitter Springs? When the NCR came to the Mojave, we thought they would be easy pickings. We raided their caravans, their towns, their camps. They couldn't stop us. At least that's what we thought. They tracked us to Bitter Springs and surrounded us. When our children, our sick and old, fled through a nearby pass, the NCR gunned them down. That doesn't sound like something the NCR would order. Oh, they claimed it was a miscommunication, but tell that to those who saw our families butchered. Tell it to the survivors who were banished here. Mm. Typical. No reference for history in the younger generations. I just listened to all your history. Farewell. Goodbye. Ah, the vaunted hero of the Legion. Oh, what can I do for you? Shit. I didn't know about the Legion, huh? He must They're be a, a tribe a spy. of fine warriors with many proud traditions and a glorious history. They will be worthy additions to the Legion. Who are you? My name is Carl. Glorious Caesar has sent me as an emissary to the Great Khans as a token of our alliance. What alliance? In exchange for Great Caesar's promise of all the lands west of New Vegas, the Khans have agreed to fight alongside the Legion when the time comes. What's your role in Kaiser's Legion? I am one of the Frumentari. It is my duty to scout the waste in Caesar's name and make contact with any tribes that might serve a useful purpose. You might say I'm somewhere between a scout and an ambassador. I'm assigned here as part of the alliance between the Legion and the Great Khans. What does the Legion want with the Great Khans? Though they have been cruelly oppressed by the NCR, the Khans remain great warriors. The Legion is honored to have such allies in battle. Weren't they just like gonna kill their culture and Speak do all then. that good stuff that they did to everyone else? Yes, goodbye. You send them up. I haven't seen you before. What brings you to the Great Cons? Tell me about Papa Khan. Papa is one of the best leaders the Cons have ever had. He's kept us together through all of our hardships ever since we left California. Bitter Springs changed him, though. He started to really hate the NCR after the massacre. And sometimes, I worry that's poisoned his mind. Hmm, what do you mean about Papa's hatred poisoning his mind? Nothing. Forget about it. I shouldn't be talking about this with an outsider. Who are you? Name's Regis. I'm Papa Khan's advisor and right-hand man. I'm also the chief enforcer of the tribe's laws, so watch your behavior. That's a complicated question. They've done horrible things to our people, to be sure. And I've gladly killed many of their soldiers in battle. But I can't bring myself to hate them the way Papa does. Things would damn sure be better for us if they were in charge than Caesar. So if you were in charge of the tribe, you'd fight with the NCR against Kaiser if asked. I suppose if asked, I would. But that's a moot point, because Papa's in charge now. And he's not going anywhere. Oh. Until next time. What if I were to take care of the Papa?
Damn. It has very likely that Kaiser's Legion will have to execute the lot of them. Oh shit. Looks like I found someone's journal. It's good to have you here. What can I do for you? What's up, Stofy13? You've been doing Happy good things for us. Big Don't think I haven't noticed. What can I do for you? I've come to ask the Great Khans to break their alliance. Have you now? Hmm. Well, you're a bold one, I'll give you that. But why should I do this for you? Do you really think Kaiser is going to restore your tribe to glory? He'll be made slaves. Ha! The Great Khans will not be slaves. Caesar himself has promised us the land from here to the Colorado and the freedom to raid as we see fit. I won't hear any more talk against Caesar or his alliance. The Great Khans will answer Caesar's call to war, and the NCR will pay for their crimes. But what about this journal? Yeah, you're working against Caesar now? I don't know. <laughs> that's, why, that's why I saved it, just in case. Ah, you're... Did I mess up? I, for, I must have picked the wrong option. Something else you wanted? No one cares about this journal that I found? Greetings in the name of Kaiser. I guess no one cares. Oh well. I heard you try to convince oh, Baba hey. Khan not to join with Caesar's Legion. I'd like to talk to you about that for a moment. How did you get outside when you were just inside? Eating at the table. How did you get outside before you I did? You want to convince Papa not to ally with Caesar, right? Trust me, you'll get nowhere just talking to him about it. He's fixated on restoring the glory of the Great Khans, and he sees Caesar as the path to that restoration. So what do I do? Papa can be a stubborn man, but he's not a tyrant. He listens to his tribe and to four voices in particular: me, Jack, Diane, and Melissa. If you can convince all of us that allying with Caesar is a bad idea, you might be able to sway him. Aren't you convinced already? I have my doubts about Caesar, yes. But I won't publicly go against Papa Khan based on nothing more than doubts. I've heard rumors that tribes who aligned with Caesar in the past were torn apart and reduced to slaves. Prove it, and I'll back you. Look at this... Uh journal I found. You'd have to talk to them, but those two have been thick as thieves since they were kids. Convince one, and the other will come around. What about Melissa? Ah, Melissa. She's a bit of a dreamer. Last time she was in camp, Carl filled her head with stories of serving the Legion as a speculatore. Personally, I've never seen a woman in Legionnaire's armor, so I have my doubts. Okay, I'll see what I can do to convince everyone. Good. Oh, one more thing. Caesar's representative, Carl, has become fast friends with Papa. Carl's the one who has him so fixated on this alliance. You'll probably have an easier time of things if you can find a way to get him out of the picture. How would I do that? Carl talks prettily about the honor and nobility of the Great Khans, but I suspect his actual opinion is less flattering. Maybe you could find something he wrote that expresses that opinion. Oh. Or trick him into losing his cool in the longhouse right in front of Papa. Like finding a book. I would too, if I were you. Something else you wanted? Find evidence of Carl's plan and bring it to Papa. Is Janet in here? Is one of these ladies Janet? Nope. Ah, you're back. What else do you need? You should look at this. Let me see that. Filthy savages. Probably have to decimate the lot of them. Are these the words of our friend, Caesar? Great cons. Drive Caesar's dog out of our camp. If he's too slow to flee, kill him. Oh, shit. Are we gonna kill him? Hey! Hey? Oh, shit. Oh, dear. 
Nice going. I'm beginning to hear troubling rumors from my advisors. Would you know anything about that? Farewell. Goodbye. Uh, I'm still cool with Kaiser, right? Just not cool with Carl. Okay, let me do these quests. Who have Melissa? down the mountain. Nope, falling down the mountain. Oh damn, they strung him up. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Please Hello. help me. Are you Andrews? Thank God. Let me down, please. Let's get you down from there. <sighs> Hello. Thanks for getting me down from that cross. I owe you one. Are you Anders? They did? Probably mostly Jack's idea. He always was the soft touch. Thanks. You've saved my life and done the great cons a huge favor. I'll be heading back to Red Rock Canyon now. Maybe we'll see each other there. A few questions. Who did this to you? Legion patrol caught me trying to cross the river. When they found the, um, package I was carrying, they strung me up there. Smuggling drugs? Well, not exactly. More like trying to expand our markets. I heard there was a lot of untapped territory down south, but the Legion caught me. So long. Laters. <laughs> Alright. He seems cool. Mm. Convince Melissa. I don't know who that is. Oh, scorpions. Oh, shit. Big scorpions. Invisible wall. Do I need to go on the other side? Damn, I hear you. Gosh, what the hell? Oh, she's she's inside the death claw place, huh? Hmm. 
if I have enough fifty cal. Man, let me jump over the wall. Could easily make it over the wall right there. I think those are just randos. There's a town right here. Oh, is the town pissed off? Quarry workers? Yeah, they're pissed off, huh? Why? Hmm. Oh, they're aligned with NCR, huh? They got that unique mole rat too. Snuffleupagus. There's a visible last wall. Feel something? Oh, that's quite young. Clear shot. Both of them are too good. You don't have to aim that well. It's 
steady, huh? Yeah, let's try it. I think I have a bunch of them. Nice. Oh boy. I think the Deathclaw, what, Mom, spawns if I jump down there, All right? Where's Raul? Oh, Raul. Yeah, Steady reduces the weapon sway, eliminates it, but doesn't compensate for the bad aim. Offer. I'm sure there's, there's the mother. Damn, Deathclaw baby. Okay. Let us begin the search. I feel like that's all of them. Damn, empty? Don't you give me claws? a lot. they're up there like we're stuck but now that I killed all of them maybe they're not stuck
too. Man, those explosive shots cost so much, but they're hella worth it. Yeah, there we go. What's up, LS1? Thanks for following. That's close enough. What do you want with the great cards? Hey, Melissa. We just said I should talk to you about speaking against the Great Khan's alliance with Kaisar. You can ask, but why would I do that? Carl told me all about the life in the Legion. He says I've got all the makings of a speculatory. Did he also tell you that women aren't permitted to serve in the Legion? What? No, he... What? what do you mean, aren't allowed to serve? Why would he lie about that? If the Great Khan's join the Legion, you'll be so sold as a slave. That lying little weasel. I almost fell for it, too. All right, you've got a deal. You can tell Papa I won't support an alliance. Bye. Later. What do you want now? What are you doing up here? Awaiting a delivery, but it's a no-show. I'm guessing that the death claws in the quarry have something to do with that. I'll help you with the problem. Is that right? What's your angle? Uh, expected to be paid, of course. That's a motive I can understand. I was expecting a shipment of chemicals. It's usually in a suitcase dropped off in one of the big machines up here. Because of the death clause, I have to assume the suitcase is still in Sloan. Snoop around the place and get it for me. Sloan? I wouldn't eat or drink them, but no. They won't explode if you drop them or anything. Don't kill anybody if you don't have to. I'm a scout and I like to keep a low profile. Dang, I was hoping it'd just be like, kill all the death claws, which I did. Oh, Sloan. That's the place with those uh, NCR people. The quarry workers. Okay. I should have got that waypoint. Alright, I hope all the death claws are dead, because I'm just gonna run through. There's more death claw eggs here, isn't there? Yeah. Mini nuke, death claw egg, death claw egg, death claw egg. Weird hole. Uh oh. Oh, he's got him. You got him. You got him. Oh, <laughs> you don't got him. Fine, right? Just taking a nap. Nah, he's just taking a nap. Am I dead? Is this heaven? Oh, oh. Hi, boss. Guess not. <laughs> he's fine. Good distraction for the death claw. Man, I hate how you could vast your companions. You know, you want to use vast to, like, scout the area out. I think it's pretty clear.
Unless my creaky knees give us away. Better not give us away. Get him, boss. I mean, it fits with your schedule. Oh no! You killed Snuffles! Damn. I got you now! Nothing important in here. Must be upstairs. Oh, too much weight. I gotta start selling some stuff. I'm doing some more Sunset Sauce Barilla. Check with Chomp Lewis? Chomp's Lewis? Who the hell is that? That's one of the dudes who's gonna attack me, huh? Yeah. That's <laughs> one of the dudes. I guess we're doing this. Talk to me, Lewis. You like that? Oops, quest failed. Oh, no to Tyrone. Yeah, this is a long fetchy questy, huh? I need to sell some stuff. I was thinking maybe I'd try to beat this game tonight, but I got too involved with cons. Welcome, sir. Explosive ammo. I think I have. Oh. I have the fast travel point for Prim, but it's the uh, NCR guy, huh? I think all the mines are deactivated. Whoa, NCR guys are pissed at me. I forgot. No oh, well. Get some. I've been doing this longer than you, pal. Ah. 
Oh, Sergeant McGee? Whoa. Must have been important. Hey, what's up, Tyrone? Thankfully, it's Great Khan Encampment Waypoint. Now, did y'all see that Matrix teaser? No. I have not. Hey. What do you want now? You actually came through for us. I didn't expect that. Anyway, the Great Khans pay their debts and don't forget their friends. If you ever come out to Red Rock Canyon, I'll put in a good word for you. Nice. Whoa! Whoa. Why those two guys going off? Nice. Right, the runner is Anders told me what happened. We owe you one for rescuing him. Tell you what. I can give you caps as a thank you or a special recipe Jack cooked up. I'll take the recipe. Here you go. With Anders out of commission for so long, we're shorthanded on runner. We've got an associate in the Crimson Caravan Trading Company. Great. Here's the package. Your contact is Don Hostetler at the Crimson Caravan. Come back and see me when you're done. Hmm, I do need the experience. How's my most favoritest friend? I'm here to ask you publicly to oppose uh, ask you to publicly oppose Papa Khan's alliance. Huh? Look, kitty cat, me and Diane Come on. Sure. But you won't have each other. The Legion will kill you and sell Diane into slavery or the prostitute. Dude, what a total haul. No way that's Copa Shishi. Yeah, okay. Me and Diane got your back. No sweat. Yeah, that ain't Copa Shishi for sure. Oh. Take it easy, kitty cat. All right. I guess these guys are going to break their alliance. I hope this doesn't break the Kaiser quest for me. I'm going to try to kill President Kimball next. Man, the layout of this place is confusing. They're all spread out everywhere. <laughs> yeah. Oh no, bro. That's not poggers. <laughs> Basically what he said. Kopashishi, poggers. I see you speak great con. All four of my most trusted advisors have told me we should break our alliance. Maybe I should hear you out after all. I've come to ask you to break your alliance. Hmm. I've heard some things from my most trusted cons. It makes me wonder whether this alliance is a good idea after all. But I want to leave a legacy of greatness when I die. My tribe deserves better than this, cowering in a canyon and living on scraps. Tell me then, if I don't join with Caesar's Legion, where will I find my tribe's lost glory? Hmm. Your tribe is nothing but ghosts and martyrs. <laughs> your tribe is proud and strong. Claim your own glory. Well spoken, traveler. Well spoken indeed. Perhaps it's time to find our own destiny, unburdened by the past. Well, leave the Mojave? We'll begin readying the camp to move. As soon as Caesar makes his move, we'll depart. We will make ourselves strong again, 
and we shall conquer. Tea, just ice water. Just drink it some good old ice water. If you should ever tire wandering alone, seek us out. You might just have the makings of a great con yourself. Oh my papa. You honor the great. Alright. Deliver drugs to Don Hostedman. I don't remember that guy. He must only come out at night. I mean, uh, only in the day. Or is this guy Don? No, you're Blake. Where is this waypoint telling me to go? One, they're both leading to different doors. To the same Mojave wasteland. I'll wait till daytime. Yeah, I think I'll beat this game tomorrow. Give myself enough time for the uh, Kaiser ending. Alright, are you inside already? But maybe it's not that long I can do it tonight. Hey, there you go. McLafferty's been riding asses again. Hello there. Welcome to... Got a package. Huh? Oh, oh, right, yeah. Uh, I'll take that. You should go now, before you draw any attention. What about the payment? Hey there. You look... Damn, I'm always looking for a katana mod because it feels like there should be three of them, right? I got the durability and damage, I think. Yo, Jack. Hey, what's up? Uh, oh. Take it easy, Jack. Hey, seems like you've been making a lot of friends around here. How would you like to be my friend, huh? Finish the Crimson Caravan run. Great. Here's your payment. No, that ant is back. How about that one? Yeah, you did good finding him. Okay, if you want a little work, I think I can find you something. Never mind. Okay, then. Job will be waiting if you change your mind. I thought she would give me some experience, but only caps. Whoa, hey, <laughs> he finally made it back. Yeah? This dude's been hobbling for days. Oh yeah, Jerry the Punk. Oh, 
I'd like to sleep in this random bed for an hour. This guy's gonna help me set up the present. So I think this is gonna be an end game. 11.50? I could probably beat it tonight. Get him, boss. Get him, boss. Huh? Oh, shit. Bastard Cardadores. Oh, screw that. Who this? It's the random camper? Hello. Didn't expect Kaisar to send a woman to do this job. Oh well, at least you're here now. I was starting to get lonely out here by myself. Hmm. Gross. Let's get on with this. Right. Straight to business. Good. No wonder Kaisar sent you. Once we get started, we're going to be in a tight schedule. Are you ready to do this? I'm ready. Good. Now Kimball is scheduled to give his speech tomorrow. We'll rest here tonight and talk over the plan first thing in the morning. Get some sleep. You got a big day ahead of you. Oh. Rise and shine. You have a big day ahead of you. So, do you have a plan for how you're going to kill Kimball? Mm. I haven't given it much thought. You better start thinking about it soon. We're on a limited time schedule. I thought he was going to give me the information plan. that could help you. I've been spying in the dam for quite a while now. I've gathered quite a bit of information from various sources. Do you have any suggestions about the assassination? Suggestions, eh? Uh, I'd suggest you play to your strengths. There's probably plenty of ways to kill Kimball. Just find one that works best for you. We'll have a few hours before he arrives. You should look around and see if you can find anything that you can use. Just be careful. You don't want to cause a scene before Kimball even shows up. I've been able to get some basic information on the schedule for Kimball's visit, as well as getting some rough security details. Tell me about Kimball's schedule. The president is scheduled to arrive sometime in the afternoon. It's going to be a short visit to boost morale for the NCR troops. He's going to arrive, give a speech, and then leave. No meet and greet, no questions, just a quick in and out. They're probably afraid something is going to happen. For good reason. I wasn't able to find a final itinerary for his visit, but if you can find one, you can get more details on what's going to happen. Give me security, security details. Security is going to be tight. Rangers are stationed all around the observation deck where Kimball is going to give his speech. Security is led by a Ranger Grant. He's a pretty rough guy who's seen a lot of combat. It's best if you steer clear of him. The crowd consists of troopers and a few select civilians who were lucky enough to bribe their way in. They shouldn't cause much trouble for you. Finally, there's the additional security that Kimball will be bringing with him. I wasn't able to find out much on that. If I had more time in their computers, I could have accessed the full duty roster and guard deployment. Maybe you'll have better luck. Okay, what would you like to know? How are we getting into the dam? I have some disguises for us. I've already got mine. A wealthy Brahmin baron who bribed his way into seeing the president. As for you, I have a NCR trooper uniform that I acquired. It'll fool most of the troopers and civilians, but it probably won't fool the rangers. Is there anything you can do to help? Well, I have a bomb here that can be put on the vertebrae that will detonate at a certain altitude. But it's a little unstable and dangerous. Hmm. I'm explosive with familiar. Uh, I'm <laughs> I'm explosive with familiars. Give it here. <laughs> oh god. I'm explosive with familiars. Here you go. Put it to good use. <laughs> if there's nothing else, then we should get moving. Let's get moving. You're the boss. I'll be in the crowd. I'm do whatever explosive. you need to do. Then find me before Kimball arrives. Here's your disguise. This will get you past most of the NCR there. But watch out for the Rangers. 
Odds are this won't fool them. I'll meet you there. Good luck. Where are we meeting? Cannot wait in this location, okay. Cannot wait in this location? Jeez, can I wait in any location? Oh damn, the dam is right here. I think I want to shoot Kimball, right? Or do I want to plant the explosive? You can usually do that with the Stealth Boy, which I picked up somewhere. I can get so many more explosives in uh, Fall 3. Over here. Oh shit! Hey, we're cool, right? No, we ain't cool. <laughs> Raul! Raul! What? I wonder what went wrong. Did he notice me, or did he notice Raul? Keep me quiet. Unless my creaky knees give us away. You... Oh, Get out good. of here. Now there's an army of robots. You don't do things by halves, do you, boss? Get out of your trail. Good call. I mean, if that's what you really want, boss. Yeah, we'll meet up at the Lucky 38. Hey, as long as you're not asking me to go back to Black Mountain, I'm a happy old man. Right. I wonder if they were shooting at me because they saw him. Right? Yeah, we're cool. Make it quick. We don't have much. Good timing. Looks like his. I hope you're up for this, because we won't get a second chance. What was that? Oh shit! <laughs> Man, this guy's disguise sucks. What the hell kind of disguise did he give me? Okay, but disguise. So those are the rangers, and these guys are the normies. Aha! Oh boy! How can I do this without getting immediately spotted? Need a better disguise. Okay, but because I have to talk to Kato to activate the quest, but it's like they immediately aha me. Make it quick. We don't. Aha. I think you could set it so like the artillery shoots them too. Hmm, you may be able to short it out and cause the gun to explode during the speech. Short the short circuit. 
Nice. That works. Oh, damn, the vertebrate goes up there. Oh, no! No! <laughs> I didn't notice that dude would be right there. Damn, that was the run. Okay. Let's tell Raul. Over okay. here. I was hoping to just jump over the wall. But the patrol got me. I'm too much of a hated figure. Getting that nice orange tint. Aha! Make it quick. We don't... Gun circuit, short circuit the board. There you go. Yeah, it scared me when they realized they're landing on top of me. Put another save down. President. There's like three people in the crowd. Four people. Four purple. California. California. It is for you that I have come here. And it is because of you that I am able to do so. We enjoy our privileges because you take the greatest of risks and are prepared to make the most noble sacrifices. It is because of men and women like Private First Class, Jeremy Watson, that Nevada and the new California Republic remain free and secure. Born in a tin shack, shack on the outskirts of one pine, Jeremy Watson never had any easy. His father was, was a caravan guard on the short loop, and, and his mother, like many Californians, braved the ruins of the old world as a prospector. They suffered through water shortages, raider attacks, and the Brotherhood War. Like our mighty Sierra Nevadas, they endured. But the, but the time, time came when they could go on their shoulder the bird alone. Oh! Ho, ho, ho. What happened? Oh, damn, they pissed at me. Damn, none of these guys have Ranger Sequoias? Holy shit. Oh, 
Oh, damn, dude. These guys are buff. Maybe it wasn't worth it to steal his coat. I'm about to wait for that whole speech again. Damn. Let's just wait. Oh, I can't wait. I oh, usually got to reverse pickpocket those revolvers. Or... <laughs> Damn, the president, um, he was the first one who noticed that I pulled out the gun. He heard it. And I was going to shoot him, but some guy just walked up the stairs. It's a perfect time. <laughs> Oh shit. Get wrecked, Ranger Stevens. Oh crap, that guy must be shooting with a sniper. Did I kill the president? Yeah, I did. Now. Hey, let's go. Right behind you. Let's dance. Maybe I should just kill them all. Jeremy Watson. God, explosive ammo is so buff. Get up, dude.
Oh shit, that's Ranger Grant. Damn, yeah, because doing a ton of damage. Not worth the private Jensen. No, he can't throw him over the... <laughs> he can't throw him over the edge. Chicharrones is spelled Chitlins? Oh, I don't know that. <laughs> and the president. Tight. Order of Kaisar Awe. Do I still have to do the uh, Battle of Hoover Dam? Probably, right? I think that's the end. I went from neutral to bad guy. Right, McConnell's probably still pretty evil. Oh, neutral, nice, nice and neutralis. We're doing a uh, Kaiser. You must enter Kaiser's tent. All right. You must enter Kaiser's. Oh, jeez! You, you won't tell him for me? Okay, boss. I'll just wait here alone while my heavily armed companion goes out of earshot. I'm sure nothing will happen. You'll be fine. Oh. True to Kaisar. You 
dispatched President Kimball with real skill. You blew everyone right up. under their noses, too. What a humiliation. My forces are in a position to assault the dam. Legatus Linnaeus has assumed command. Are you ready to go to him? To tell him to begin the assault? It would be an honor. Good. In hoc signo Torus Vinces. Report to Legatus Ignat Horus immediately. We'll brief you on the plan of battle. Come back victorious. Or don't come back. What'd you call me? Do pinches? Let's do this. Damn, so I guess I'm playing Oblivion tomorrow. I can't believe I'm about to do this, boss. If I buy it out there, I want 12 mariachi bands playing at my funeral. The metal might be nice, too. All right, Granada Jaluis, Granada Jaluis, Granada Jaluis, Katana, Super Sledge, Anti-Material Rifle. Lonesome Road DLC. I don't think I'm going to do the DLC this run. Help. Move along. Move along. Old World Blues, Lonesome Road, Honest Hearts, Dead Money. Curious on Ulysses' views on the courier. Courier being. Oh, did I leave Raw? I thought he was following me. Oh. Should I do Lonesome Road? With melee, I think it's easier. Oh, where is he? Temperature changed. I wonder if it's going to get all orange again. Alright. About 50 explosive shots. Yeah, it's getting orange. <clears throat> Begins. You mean your army is about to attack? About time. As was I, yet I was ordered to await you. Now that you are here, we may act. Do. Let's hear it then. In the past, the NCR has relied upon attrition, withering on numbers with ranged fire and falling back as necessary. Not this time. The dam contains tunnels to its heart, overlooked by the NCR, now occupied by the Legion. When the battle begins, 
The NCR will find our teeth at their throats in a dozen places. There will be no attrition, no falling back, only carnage. What do you want me to do? Our forces are better equipped to take objectives than hold them. I do not wish to defend this place if another option exists. Our opponents follow a strict chain of command, which is both a strength and weakness. I intend to use you to strike at that weakness. Find the enemy commander, this General Oliver. Kill him or his resolve. Do this and his cowards will retreat, leaving the dam to us. Hmm, I have questions. Then <clears throat> ask them. The battle draws near. What does Lanius mean? <laughs> Stupidest questions. The word means butcher in Latin. I was granted the name after proving myself in several battles. Perhaps after today's battle, you too will learn yourself a new name. Are you looking forward to battle? I live to serve Kaisar's will and the will of the Legion. If my victory serves them both, then I am pleased. What do you think of the NCR? They are passable foes, like their citizens. They prefer their war from a distance, and at that, they excel. Their leaders have on occasion shown brilliance. Their rangers in particular have adapted well to our strategies. But their rangers are few, and this General Oliver we face is not their best. I regret not being able to face Hanlon, the one who led them last time. Any idea what our chances are? Their men take comfort in, and rely on killing at a distance. They will not have the luxury of such comforts this time. Our warriors will wash over them in a tide of blood. Severing arms before they can attack. Legs before they can run. And heads before they can pray. This guy should have been So poet. yes, fortune favors our chances, messenger. Provided you move quickly. What can you tell me about the layout of the dam? The layout of the dam is so annoying. It was not intended for war. Its top sides are bound to two intake towers by a series of bridges. No doubt snipers nest there. On the far side of the dam, a small building provides access to the power plant below. That is where Oliver hides. I'll deal with Oliver now. Mars's eyes are upon you. I'm ready to deal Do with not Oliver fail now. him. Or us. Damn, he always has super speed. Our way, true to Kaiser. Yeah, thanks for the follow, Snap Man. Just in time for our best Vegas finale. Attack! Maybe I should equip better armor too. They're gonna start blasting me. Wow, the wasteland. What's Wild Wasteland? Okay, I guess we're doing this. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> oh shit! I think those were the uh, holy <laughs> grenades. <laughs> I think those were way too buff. I didn't realize they're that buff. Jesus! Holy hand grenades. That's what they are. Come on! Come on! Had enough? Oh right. 
armor. Boom, boom, boom. Get some. These are regular grenades. That's what I thought I had. Uh. That's a fair kill. Now yeah, this is the holy hand grenade. Boo! All right, backing up. Oh, okay. There you go. Jeez, it's still blowing up? My god. Throw that one out of bounds. Why are they shooting me now? Dude, your homie got in the way. It wasn't my fault. Oh my lord. That's not good. I know, I blew up uh, Kaiser's Legion. Now they're all gonna be pissed off me. You gotta find, right? Yeah, you gotta find. It's accidental, I swear. Jesus, everything's on fire. Punching me in the back. Oh shit! Did that guy just uh, hold on to that grenade? Guys were acting like they were gonna hit me.
power plant oh no Whoa, <laughs> hit his right arm so hard his left one blew off. Oh, both my arms are broke? Really? <laughs> really? Oh, no, they seem fine. I'll use a doctor bag just in case. Oh, shit, my bad. I didn't need to swing for him. This is tough. You can't use the holy hand grenades because it's gonna end up killing all your homies. Oh, <laughs> oh shit! Oh shit! So you must be the courier the reports mentioned. Pass this message on to your commander. Hoover Dam will not fall while I still draw breath. Surrender, General. The dam is almost taken. This battle is far from over. Once the reinforcements from McCarran arrive, the counteroffensive will begin. There won't be any reinforcements. The Legion have blocked the road west. <sighs> if that's true, then there's nothing else for it. My men and I will hold out as long as we can. There's still time. You can escape. I won't stop you. And go where? According to you, the road west is blocked. And while you might let us by, I highly doubt your allies will do the same. I'm betting a man as well, I'm, I'm betting a man as smart as you wouldn't leave himself without one contingency. Perhaps I do have a secret tunnel out of here. But that doesn't change anything. My duty is to stay and fight. And what about your duty to your men? My men and I are soldiers. We share an obligation to follow orders, and our orders are to hold this dam. Ah, oh, I should have, uh... Mm, yeah. I should have read a book before I came in here. Then choose, General. Leave now and let your men live. Stay and you all die. We choose to stay. No. Though I think we'll all debate you on the dying part. Run away! Whoa, how did those dudes survive? That's bullshit. So you must be the courier. Oh, yeah. Can't I can't bring up my pit boy fast enough. So you must be the courier. Then I my guess we that. fight.
Where did he run to? Ow. Traps everywhere, huh? Watch out, Raw. <laughs> Damn. Damn, my uh, marker. Oh, never mind. I don't know where my marker is hidden. I've got you now. Want some more? General Lee Oliver. Oh, you're not. Not the guy I was looking for. What was that? Were you? Yeah. Oh, and the soldiers guarding him, huh? Like that. Oh, crazy knockback. Knock this full back. <laughs> what are you doing? Funny as hell. Crazy knockback. Jack his weapon. <laughs> he got no weapon. Oh shit. Boom. The game crashed. Did the stream crash too? <laughs> Dude, that is hilarious. Oh my god. What? Man, the stream started with the crash and it's going to end with the crash just like that? Oh my god. <laughs> Dude. Uh, the game was rigged from the start. Yeah. 
What the hell, dude? <laughs> what the hell? <sighs> I can't leave it like that, right? All right, let me try it again. Hopefully it doesn't crash. That is crazy. It was, I think it was just about to launch into the ending cinematic, right? What the hell? <laughs> All right, at least that last room is not that big. Man, I was having too much fun with those uh, super sledge attacks. Man, how could it end like that? The game's pissed I didn't pass that speech check. Uh, speech check. Yeah, the auto save is right there. Oh, the huge run to him, right? So you must be the courier. Surrender, General. Super Slug is so buff. Yeah, we're all killing people. Jumpo. 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 Jumpy. Damn it. This guy using an anti material rifle? What the hell? These dudes hiding. Are they hiding down? That's killing people downstairs too. Like <laughs> Fucking Raul, dude. Uh oh, Raul unconscious. I guess I have to kill all the people down here too. to the legate. All right. This oh. pleases me. No act is more sacred than consecrating a site in the blood of one's enemies. The rest of the dam is fully under our control. A few pitiful holdouts remain, but their time is short. The general was the last source of concern. 
With their commander dead, the NCR will pull out of this region, allowing our conquest to continue westward, unopposed for a time. The Legion will swell with the number of slaves we will claim from this place, and the tribute we gather will fund further campaigns. Perhaps in time, I will be granted the honor of conquering the land known as California. But for now, we rest. Know that your efforts are appreciated and will not go unrewarded. But we can speak of that later. For now, come. We must see to the burning of the dead. And so the courier who had cheated death in the cemetery outside Too bad Good Springs you play after cheated death once like again. Three. And the Mojave Wasteland was forever changed. Caesar entered the strip as though it was his triumph. The Legion pushed the NCR out of New Vegas entirely, driving them back to the Mojave outpost. The Legion occupied all major locations, enslaving much of the population and peacefully lording over the rest. Under the Legion's banner, civilization, unforgiving as it was, finally came to the Mojave Wasteland. The Courier, a mercenary at heart, helped the Legion achieve victory at Hoover Dam. Caesar honored That's not my hair. I had a mohawk. Minted in celebration of her contributions and distributed hmm. throughout the Wasteland. Though some super mutants and Nightkin continued to journey to the legendary Utopitha, they found little trace of its existence. Some eventually found their way to Jacobstown, but many wandered off into the wastes, confused and disheartened. Still grappling with self-doubt over his usefulness in the face of old age, Raoul was never able to find peace with himself. Eventually, he left the Mojave and assumed a new name. As he had done so many times before. Oh, Raul. Cautious after the boomers' display of power at Hoover Dam, Caesar chose to leave the boomers alone. The boomers remained isolated, but have been seen flying over the Mojave Desert from time to time. Buried beneath tons of rubble, the Mojave chapter of the Brotherhood of Steel was no more. Those few who were outside the Hidden Valley bunker when it was destroyed settled into new lives. Or headed west to find a new chapter to join. The fiends attacked Camp McCarran during the Second Battle of Hoover Dam and suffered heavy losses. Caesar, unimpressed with their performance and their dependence on chems, had them exterminated. <laughs> After the Legion's victory, Caesar, out of a strange respect for his old fellows, allowed the followers safe passage out of the wasteland. Reluctantly, the followers accepted the offer and abandoned Old Grounded Mormon two? Fort to the Legion. That? The Legion, preoccupied with its acquisition of New Vegas, scarcely took notice of the town of Good Springs. Many locals moved on, fearful of Caesar's long shadow. Only the old and the stubborn remained. Rose of Sharon Cassidy died as her caravan died. Oh. In an unmarked grave, another victim of the Mojave. During the Battle of Hoover Dam, the Great Khans quickly evacuated Red Rock Canyon and headed north and east into the plains of Wyoming. There, they reconnected with the followers of the Apocalypse and rebuilt their strength. Bolstered by ancient knowledge of governance, economics, and transportation, they carved a mighty empire out of the ruins of the Northwest. After their victory at Hoover Dam, Legion oh, the king freeside. The kings tried to fight back, but most were killed, and the rest fled into the wasteland. Not the kings. Armed with a wide array of improvised explosives and stolen weapons, the Vault 19 powder gang tormented the Mojave wasteland for years. Citizens of the NCR were favorite targets, and they always suffered the worst fates. Oh, yeah. And so the courier's road came to an end, for now. In the new world of the Mojave Wasteland, fighting continued, blood was spilled, and many lived and died just as they had in the old world. Because war, war never changes. Boo! Boo! Why does war never change? <laughs> Alright. Kaiser ending, huh? Man, there's so many different slides you can get. And they change each time, right? Develop 
depending on how you did it. I never really done the uh, Great Con line too. Don Sindvir Helden? Damn, Jason, Lord Fader? <laughs> Lord Fady, huh? Do they all get quotes? What the hell? Damn, the dude. Dark Souls 2? It has been a while since we played it. It's been a whole three days. What are these nicknames? Uh, has it always been like this? <laughs> Megatron? <laughs> That's pretty good. Yeah, dedicated servers. GG's. Clap, clap. Nice solid ending. I don't think I'm going to do the DLCs for this run, but I don't know. I'll make a decision by tomorrow. I was leaning toward playing Oblivion. But yeah, you know, Oblivious Dobo said uh, he hasn't heard what Ulysses said if he joined with Kaiser, and I was thinking about it. Like, I haven't heard it either. But that DLC, all the DLCs, I feel like, they're, they're okay, right? They're okay. Not as good as the main game. Last time I played Fallout 3, I didn't do the DLC either. Man, Oblivion, though. Oblivion, though. I bought it for the Xbox One X. It's still sealed. I bought this such a long time ago. Maybe like three months ago. <sighs> Xbox enhanced, 60 frames, 4K textures, really shitty models. Might be fun. If I play it, I play it without mods, so... That's gonna be hella brutal. The map in that game is ridiculous. Damn, enough with these low-tier RPGs. Time for Two Worlds 2. <laughs> Maybe I'll play that one next. The classic Two Worlds 2. It even has an instruction guide. I guess I could tell it's good. Oh, what? Oh, my God. The page just fell out of the instruction guide. That's not good. It's not pristine condition. Psh. I'm gonna return this to Blockbuster and get a different version. <laughs> yeah, very odd Brad for Two Worlds 2. I bought it used. Hopefully it works. But yeah, I'm leaning toward Oblivion or maybe Lonesome Road. Probably Oblivion, right? I like playing the Xbox Series X. I feel like I've been playing it way more than I have my PS5. What the hell is even out on PS5 except for like Demon Souls? Backwards compatibility is too good for Xbox. Man, you know what I really noticed during this playthrough of the game? is that the ambient music is really good. I feel like a lot of times when I play this game, I would always have the radio on. But this time I had it off the whole time, and you just listen to you know, all the music when you're running around town, running around the waste. Really sets a good mood. 
Hmm. Was Virtual Fighter PS5 or PS4? It's PS4. But I played it on PS5. It's backwards compatible and all that. It says Dead Monkey instead of Dead Money? Oh, you know what? Ah, you know what it is? It's because I picked Wild Wasteland. That's why they have these ridiculous uh, nicknames and quotes. Right? It's the Wild Wasteland trait. Right? Well, I guess we could just believe that they fucked it up, too. <laughs> Man, I believe it's the Wild Wasteland. And User Man 2, GG's. Nice solid run of New Vegas. Three, well, like the first stream was like seven hours, second stream was like four, and this one's like six. Man, 17 hour playthrough. And that's like rushing it, there's still like so many quests to do. That's what's uh, great about the Fallout. Oh, about Fallout 3 and Fallout 4. There's a lot of stuff to do. You can play it through like a few times and still have new content. Unless like you always do like the same things over and over. Which is still fun too. Man, you know what I didn't like? the explosives it seemed like sometimes they just wouldn't do max damage like the first time I killed the general Oliver at the end I threw one holy hand grenade and it killed everyone the second time I did it it like did half life it's like it clips through walls or something it goes to the floor explosive is supposed to be tight Damn. Special thanks to Meredith, Sophia, and Logan for giving up their dad? Jesus. <laughs> giving up their dad? Yeah, kind of dark, right? But then it probably just means, you know, they're like young kids and the dad worked a lot in the game. But, you know, you could <laughs> read it in a different way. Shan Shan Fu, the Brimstone Fellowship? Whoa, Benny was Matthew Perry? Who the hell's Matthew Perry? Oh, damn, I didn't even talk to Arcade Ganon, huh? There's a ton of people I didn't talk to. Marcus? Michael Dorn? Isn't that Worf? Damn, Raul? Danny Mehehe Trejo? Oh, didn't Felicia Day tweet some shit about Twitch recently? <laughs> right? Did she did she do some shit like that? I didn't even meet her in this playthrough. Yeah, Dorn is indeed war for sick. What about uh, 
Kaisar. It's that major walls, right? Colonel Su. Yeah, Overlord Zeros. They have some big names on this. I forgot all the big names. But seeing them listed out like that, it's like, oh yeah, geez. All these people I didn't talk to. Hmm, I didn't see uh, Kaiser. Maybe it was up there and I just skipped it. Isn't it weird now, like how nowadays there's always like the same voice actors who do like every game? Alright, Laura the Pound Bailey. And wasn't it weird how uh, Resident Evil 2 and 3 got like brand new people to do all the voices? <laughs> I like how they were like all super unknowns and like they all try to, you know, that was like their big break. I think a lot of them stream on Twitch. Yeah, Laura Bailey's in everything. She's in the base game, all the DLCs. <laughs> She's everywhere. It's like some kind of collusion in the voice acting guild. Oh, the old world blues. Didn't they get um, Doctor Venture? Which one's Dr. Venture? Jane. <laughs> Jave apostrophe Urban Neck? That's him, isn't it? Dr. O Adventure Guy? Yeah. James Urban Neck. I don't know why they put an apostrophe there. It's that darn wild wasteland. Damn, discotech. Austin Snyder, huh? Damn. Philip Bakke? I'll shit on your lunch, huh? <laughs> what a jerk. These are hella wild wasteland. Dr. Hot Dog, does the texture pack come with the game or do you have to mod it? I modded it in. I used NMC's large texture pack along with the Eve Essential Visual Enhancements. That's supposed to mess with like the lighting and stuff. Damn, are they going to do all of Bethesda credits now? Are you planning on playing any of the DLCs? I'm like 50-50, 60-40. I think I'm going to play Oblivion next. I'll try starting Oblivion tomorrow on uh, Xbox Series X. It's brand new in the cellophane wrap. I haven't played this game in forever. It might hella suck. 
feel like we've been deep in the Fallout New Vegas lore. Might be time to change it up, but it's hard to just play the DLC out of nowhere. You have to go through like a, the playthrough of the normal game and then do the DLC. So this this would be the time to do it. I'm thinking about it. One of the two. Dark, I'll have to talk shit, ha sh talk shit to him at the start. I hell, I forgot that Uncle Jim. I have to strategize how I'm gonna start Oblivion. What are my major skills? They have to be like the shittiest skills. Man, I can't wait to be jumping and like <laughs> casting magic and shit. Everywhere I go, jump, cast magic, jump, cast magic. And if you hold shield, you can cast magic faster. Hella building up all the skills. Yeah, we don't worry about min-maxing on Oblivion unless you're going to 100% it. Yeah. Yeah, I'll probably play it the same way I played Fallout 3 and 4. But man, it's like... Don't you want to level those things up, though? Acrobatics... Whatever skill, whatever magic skill. Hundred percent chameleon strats. Oh man, the the guilds, right? Mage guild, thief guild. Make your own spells. That should be sick. Yeah, major skills should be the ones you never use. The least popular. Because you want to keep your uh, level low so the enemies don't get super hard. The first time I played Oblivion, man. It took me like a half hour to kill like one random skeleton in a cave. And I was like, I did this wrong. <laughs> like, what the hell? I had to restart a few times to figure it out. Should be fun enough uh, messing with the system again. Man, this is amazing. Is this all the same song throughout the credits? Or did it loop? Is this one long ass song? Damn, shoutouts to the receptionist, office manager, executive chef, office dog. Damn, shoutouts to Europe. I'm gonna shout everyone out in these credits. It would have been cool if they had like different background screens too. Set the same postcards over and over. Okay. There goes the song we start. Man, this song was good. Great theme for New Vegas. Alright. Usually I like to uh, stick around for the hall credits. Especially lately. But this one seems like it's super duper long. I feel like we've been here for like 10 minutes already. They're probably going to call out Bethesda Russia. Bethesda Asia. Damn, what about Bethesda Korea? Oh, damn. <laughs> now they're calling out all the songs? All these DMCA companies? I wonder how many songs are going to get muted when I upload it to YouTube. Sometimes YouTube gives you the option of just like 
muting the song or they try to erase the song from the audio track and leave everything else behind it. It doesn't seem to work out too well. How much it costs to get all these music credits? Peggy Lee, well, <laughs> that's a good song. Uh, you ever played Dragon Age Oranges? I haven't. Oh, wait, I have. But I flushed it pretty early on. I played it way back. There's something about that game that's weird, right? Like, it seemed really complicated for the combat. I didn't like how it was so slow. But I remember my brother liked it a lot. It's dope. I think I own it on PC. Oh, Steam. No, Origin. I think they gave that game away for uh, free. I could put that on the list. Maybe for a flush thon. I don't think it'll get very far. But who knows? It'll be one of those games where I don't think it goes very far, but it ends up being like Boys of Samurai 3. Man, these are the longest credits of all time. It is way past my bedtime. These Fallout games make me want to stream until like 1, 2 a.m. It's supposed to be midnight. Who needs bedtime anyway? German test team? <laughs> Damn. This is funny seeing who they're uh, giving credits to now. What's the next category? Nice. Some credits are so short. These credits are like, they're calling out every individual person who worked on the team. I guess that's gotta be cool if you actually worked on this game. Your name's written in history. Video game history, anyway. Damn. <laughs> oh, shit. How many translators? They stopped doing all that wild wasteland names too. They were like, man, this is getting pretty long. It would be really cool if they remade this game. They could fix a ton of shit. It's so weird how random 
NPCs in the Brotherhood of Steel would talk to you in one voice, and then when you said goodbye, they'd be like, later. <laughs> like, what the fuck? It's so weird. I wonder if that was Wild Wasteland. Hmm. Oh, damn. Here comes the legal mumbo-jumbo. This has to be the end of it, right? I heard like every game and movie uses that speed tree technology. It's like a program where they just like quickly create trees. Very famous program. Or uh, I don't know what's engine. Oh shit, is that the end? <clears throat> 2010, huh? It seems like all my favorite games are like 10 years old, at least. I need some new dope games. All I'm playing are these fucking 2010 games. Oh, minor games. Yeah, all new games suck. <laughs> uh, would you like to load a save prior? No. If you select no, you'll be returned to the main menu. Alright, let's go back to the main menu. Tight. Yeah, I believe it's the double. We're all old. Even if you're young, you're pretty old. <clears throat> I made it this far. Man, everyone. That was a good run. Oblivion. DLCs. One of the two tomorrow. But now I am definitely going to call it a night. It is past my bedtime. My boss is pissed. And I have to go take a piss. It's a bad combo. So. Thanks a lot for watching. Thanks a lot for hanging out. And thank you for hooking it up with the subs. Um, all the resubs. All the big follows. Uh, if you guys are new here. Would like to hook it up with a follow. I'd have appreciate it. I uh, play random games all the time. And I'm thinking we're going to play another one, random one tomorrow. Oblivion, 10 plus years old. DLCs, plus 10 years old. At least they're good. Anyway. Hope you guys have a good night. A good day. A good big week. And I'll catch y'all next time. Take it easy, everyone.